Wow, wow. Welcome to the RPG Exploration Society, everyone. Um, here on Saving Throw, uh, my name is Rich, and I'm going to be your guide today, uh, along with this incredible cast, as we learn to play Dune Adventures in the Imperium, the 2D20 game by Modifius Games. And I, uh, oh my gosh, I could not be happier about this. I'm just going to scream a lot throughout this entire thing. Um, because I am just surrounded by a bunch of my favorite folks, just my heroes here, um, and we're going to play games together. I mean, what, what better thing could there be? Um, uh, oh my, I have so much to tell you about the world and the system and all sorts of things, but I got to introduce this cast first of all. Um, and I, I'm going to, we didn't even talk about this. I'm going to go through an alphabetical order because I got to make decisions. So I'm going to start with the wonderful Elisa Pearl. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, oh my goodness. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm great, thank you. Good. Um, are you excited about the the world of Dune? Does it speak to you? <laughs> yes, it's it's yes. I'm excited to dive into this and play in it um, because there's so much. There's so much in Dune to explore. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a there's a couple books. It's short. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Treating. I'm curious how many folks out there who have read all the books in their recent reread, preparing for this show in the movie. You know. Mm -hmm, should be mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Of course, we have uh, with us B Zelda. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, hello. How are you? Can I oh, ask you that? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm good. I I'm really excited. I mean, all day today, I've just been like on edge, just just getting excited for this. Um, just because it's like <laughs> I love new systems. I like digging into it. You know, so this should be fun. How about you? I'm hyped. So I deal with new systems, but I yeah. love role playing. So like this kind of game that's going to facilitate all the best nerdiness. I even have right. some goggles that I'm ready for like whatever character I'm going to play. They have to wear goggles. <laughs> it's the desert. Right? Like, come yeah. on. Protection first. Oh my goodness. That is perfect. Um, <laughs> wait, yep. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Justin's got it down. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, next up, we have Cohen, it has been so long since we have rolled dice, and I am so uh, happy to be here together with you. <laughs> it's so good to be at your table again, Rich. Yeah. It's been, God, pre -fan I guess pre-pandemic, yeah. Because mm -hmm. just, yeah, yeah, those are the days. Right? Um, but you, Very excited. You are also one of the folks who is, you, I mean, you've been doing the reread this whole month, this last two months? It's, it's me, hard to remember me. a time when I wasn't reading Dune. Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm, I'm like on the 6th. There's there's six that were written, but we're just I'm just gonna stop the entire proceeding dead and start. No, no, no. there's six that were written by Frank Herbert, and then a bunch that were written by his son that are not so good. But I'm on the sixth one. I, I've read them like a million times. They're just yeah. They're just they're they're deep. They're deep. Some people do Lord of the Rings. Some people this is this is my this is my my thing. In that regard, fantastic. Very excited. Well, not uh, not super familiar with a lot of systems outside of a. D&D 5e, uh, but I'm, I'm excited to to learn a new one. Fantastic. If I rely on your Dune expertise, um, just bring it on. You know, tell me all about the books. You're ready. <laughs> yes. I need it. Um, yes. Perfect. Um, we, of course, have it. my my co-host in crime on Owlbear Soup here on, uh, on Saving Throw, Justin. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, to, so, so, so to get prepared for this, I yeah. watched Waterworld. Um, I, I, that's that. That's the same. That's the same general idea, right? Post-apocalypse. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Check. Cool. Yeah. I'm that's, ready. I, that's I'm ready box. for my shark pet and jet ski. Uh, I'm so pumped for this. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I never heard of Dune before this, so mm -hmm. um, right. Yeah. Um, right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, there's there's actually I, a Dune no, book yeah. set on a water world. Really. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good. It's not any good. It's one of the ones the sun run. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but uh, but again, you like me. I mean, we talk systems a whole lot. I know you've oh, played yeah. a lot of RPGs. So yeah, I'm super excited for 2D20. It seems like a a really fun system, and I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to the flexibility with it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to yeah, I'm looking forward to the system a lot. Um, I honestly, I've only read the first book of Dune, and I've seen the uh, the old movie with uh, what's his face in it. Uh, I, I always <laughs> want to say sting is what it sting. I don't know. Sting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it is in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw that. So oh, that's wow. a little that's, sting. That is that is the extent of my Dune knowledge. Uh, so <laughs> I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I've I've been pumped about this since you mentioned yeah. it. 
So awesome. Um, I did read a review or uh, an interview recently that said that Patrick Stewart was in it by accident. <laughs> by accident? <laughs> Whoops! Like was they he had he wandered by? onto the set. I, I kind of. Yeah. It sounds like they meant to cast someone else, but called him, and so he what? was there, and they were just like, "All right." <laughs> yeah, that's wow. Right. I guess that's wild. <laughs> sounds wild. I, he also I, didn't know who Sting was at all. <laughs> I, I, I do agree with uh, Five Foot Latina in the uh, in the chat. Uh, true, Sting was also hot. Yeah, he was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that oh, little goodness. like uh, weird, not even bikini, but like loin thing that he Loin yeah. thong, I think. Yeah. 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 Pretty amazing. It was it's, so good. It's a look. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen the movie. I, it is wild. I. It's I David Lynch. It. It's just right, so I know. So I, I know mm -hmm. the visuals are going to be amazing, and I'm worried yeah. that they will just. Like I've had these, in, I have these visuals that I've built up in my head for this sure. like fantasy scape for like, since I was like 15, and I know that two hours with David Lynch will just like <laughs> delete straight, yeah. clear the cache, nothing left. Right. So I'm just like, I gotta hold on to it as long as I can. Yeah, that's Absolutely. probably a good plan. <laughs> oh my goodness, um, I, we're getting into this, which is great. But I have to introduce Teos. Teos, welcome. I'm so excited for you to join hey, us. Rich. Um, hello, everybody. Of, hello. Shout out to the Fremen. Um, Hello, planetary ecologists. I see you. <laughs> um, I'm so excited because you, of course, you know, have this this wealth of knowledge in in game design for role playing games, um, but also um, the uh, the environmental and ecological ideas in Dune. I mean, do those call to you? I, I do love me some ecology. In fact, mm -hmm. my the way I started on my Dune trek is that uh, <laughs> this copy of the book was given to me by my mom. And uh, she she has a little thing where she wrote in it because I was rereading and I was like, oh, she wrote in it. And, and it was all about like because I like ecology, which was. Yeah, cool. so, that's, that's a sad moment of the show. That's, that's a good. Show. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I, I love uh, the Dune, uh, whatever it is, number of books. Uh, I even like the, <laughs> the more recent ones, um, at, at least the first three I thought were, were kind of interesting just for what they tried to add and, and say about uh -huh. the past. Um, but yeah, I, I love, I love me some maracas. Uh, I like my food, Melange. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I, I have seen a lot of these things in prints. And so I had to go through and after watching the movie, just like, did I, did I print? Okay. I got to make sure I've got the pronunciation guide to all things. So Fremen was a big one. Um, uh -huh. mm. Oh my goodness. I, I love it. I love it. Well, thank you all for joining us on this exploration. I cannot wait. Um, we have a lot to talk about today because as we're, we're learning this game, I mean, there's a lot to it. What we're going to be doing over the next five weeks is a combination of a session zero and an adventure. So we're going to be working here. None of us, for those of you at home, none of us have created characters at this point. Um, we're going to just jump in feet first right now so that everyone watching can see exactly how this works. And at the end of this five weeks, be able to run this game on your own at home. I mean, that's that's my goal. That's my dream <laughs> in any learn to play game. Um, so as we get started here, um, Let's see, I got to mention a couple things right up front. Uh, number one is that we do have um, some donations uh, and some options that will come if you donate to the show. Um, uh, and they're going to change throughout the, the series. Uh, early on, we're going to be naming some NPCs because today is a big world building day. And we want your input as we name some of the most important members of our house. Um, so <laughs> please get ready for that. We have Dom behind the scenes. We'll be tracking all that sort of stuff. Um, thank you very much, Dom. And uh, and getting that information to us. Um, we're also going to be um, having some pretty epic goals kind of in the end, so your donations will stack up and build towards some wild things in our adventures in weeks four and five. Um, we also have a giveaway going, which I'm super excited. The folks at Modifius have sent us um, a couple copies of the Dune RPG, and they are raffling them away three per episode. So you in the chat right now, um, if you type in, Get ready. I mean, first of all, follow the show to, to enter. Once you do, you got to type in exclamation mark raffle and then type in a number up to 10. Get some tickets, um, you know, get your chance to win uh, a copy of the Dune RPG. It's a good book. We're going to try and convince you of that in the next five weeks. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Um, OK, I think that's all the bits. I think that's the bits. Um, so are we ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Gosh. I. Uh, I've got to tell so you, ready. good. 
uh, at the start about the world of Dune, right? We got a lot of folks. I mean, this this book is an introduction to Dune as well as for for folks who are deep into it uh, and know the lore really well. Um, so I'm going to give you a, a general sense of kind of the place we're at. Um, jump in our, our lore. I mean, anyone with uh, with ideas or, or thoughts on these. Um, but I want to give you a sense of the place of Dune because it is a strange sci-fi story in a lot of ways, right? When I think about sci-fi, I think about this this high-tech Tron-style universe, and Dune skews so far from that in so many ways. Um, we are talking about a future, a very distant future, uh, where we've already had the, uh, the Matrix story. We've had the uprising of the machines, and most importantly, humanity survived. They've spread among the stars. I don't even think they remember Earth like it's, it's that far. Um, it's just out there. A humanity is spread among all of these worlds. Love and that for they, us. Wonderful. Right. Great work. Good job. <laughs> um, and they used machines to do it. Um, all sorts of thinking machines to to drive, you know, our 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 engines, you know, our our dune equivalent of the, the hyperspace computer and things like that. The unknowable, unimaginable ideas of crossing to other planetary systems. And uh, when we beat up the, the machines and stop that, uh, we couldn't use those anymore. And so a lot of Dune is kind of looking at human replacements for many of those things. And that gives us a lot of the strangeness of Dune and a lot of the guilds of Dune. Um, uh, for, for example, the biggest one uh, is probably the, the Spacers Guild. This is the, the group that kind of in a lot of ways rivals the Empire itself, um, mastering the power of traveling from one system to another by infusing, infusing, uh, eating, <laughs> breathing, uh, the spice from uh, the planet Arrakis, this little known world called Dune, you know. Um, and with that, that it can expand their mind enough to allow travel to different worlds. Um, so Dune isn't just this this little, like, let's just focus on one planet because it's interesting and there's a story there. It is in many ways the most important planet in the entire galaxy. Because if we don't have that, we don't have the spice, we don't have the spacing guild, we are lost among the stars, which... Sounds cool when I say it that way, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it probably does not. Sound, great. <laughs> does sound better than a desert planet. I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> Arrakis, Dune, desert planet. Those are the three things to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was spice must flow. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that's a sub subheading under uh, mm -hmm. Dune. Yeah. And for everybody We're, who has um... a bingo board, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, good. good. <laughs> was a was Dune ever referred to as a spice world long before um, any sort of spice world activities? The movie? I don't know. <laughs> you don't world. mean the band? The, the girls? The... Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Is there a crossover that I don't know about there? Oh, <laughs> Spice World, the Spice Girls. Oh, okay, God. now I want to see that. <laughs> God, you got, oh, man. Spice <laughs> Girls on Arrakis? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, like as Vinny <laughs> like Gesserit? Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. Ericus, Dune, I, Desert Planet, Spice World. I think we got. I think we got our house. Uh, yeah. right? yeah. I think we're done. Yes. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Amazing. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So we're already getting into this. This is great. We got to think about. Uh, we're going to be developing our house today and exactly what we're good at and all sorts of things. Um, we're going to figure out how we are attached to the spice in any way. Um. And, uh, and once we start creating our characters, we're going to start coming from kind of the weirder nebulous areas of Dune. Things like whether our characters are going to be members of the Order of the Mentats. Um, folks who also consume a different uh, substance, basically Red Bull, um, the juice of Sappho, uh, in order to expand their minds to become human computers. Because, of course, we cannot trust computers. Um, they'll rise up and overthrow us. Um, so we got people to do that. Um, what else do we got? We have technology that doesn't feel as advanced. I think it, even uh, you know, if we're comparing it to other other genre or like other movies in the same genre, Star Wars I think has higher technology in a lot of ways because we we don't really get like that many laser pistols. We're running around with knives and swords for the most part, um, steering away from atomic energies or anything that could really destroy humanity because we're not allowed to do that by imperial decree. <laughs> because seems like a solid do. one. Yeah. Except, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say that there's the lasers, shields thing. So a lot of people have yes. body shields that they wear, and it's like a they stop like bullets. And so they do cool people do cool sword fights because you can stick a sword in slowly enough to get past the shields 
block that's trained to block projectiles. But if you shoot a shield with a laser gun, uh, it causes an atomic explosion. So yeah. that's sort of the constant thing. It's like if it's like if people were walking around with like Kevlar and tasers, but if you used a taser on Kevlar, you both died and the city <laughs> you were in exploded. Yeah, and maybe the planet. Yeah, yeah. So it's, so a fun, it's a fun so thing that just like design. keeps coming up. Yeah, I bet you they regretted once they uh, figured that out. They're like, oh, why did we make it this way? Oh, Dang it. we really should. <laughs> we shouldn't have invented one of these. Yeah. Hey guys, I have this great idea. On our giant <laughs> space station, let's put a port that leads straight to the engine. And so everything, you know. That way we can get to the engine really yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Problem. <laughs> so good. Um, Cohen, I have, I have some news I got to share with you about the shields. Um, uh, you know how you were saying earlier, like if you watched the movie, this image would never leave you. Mm -hmm. I can, I can never, ever forget the shields of the Dune movie from 1984. They are, <laughs> well, let me just, look they are up. an incredible sight. <laughs> wait, Cohen, before yeah. you look at them, wait, wait, don't look at them yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Cohen, can you describe to us what you, what they are for you visually oh, yeah. before you actually okay. see them? Uh, if you were to take a person in MS Paint and use the oval <laughs> tool, the little You're oval, like the, the circle <laughs> oval, and you did that like with like, like pick like, I don't know, green and like a light green, <laughs> and then a lighter, like did a fill lighter green inside that. That's basically oh, what I, like okay. I always figured it went around like and a, a, above a little, like it's like, yeah. kind of like right, cool. yeah, yeah, like right there. Cool. No, just the kidding. MS Paint is like right on. Yes, it yeah, is. I'm into it. <laughs> that or Minecraft. These yeah, are nuts! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh my god! Minecraft. Yes, absolutely yes. Minecraft. Yeah, that's yeah. just Minecraft, Steve. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's actually oh, how that was Minecraft the started, started. right? Little right. known fact that oh, is no. not true. Do I need to watch this? I'm going to watch the new one first. I can't. Okay, I can't. okay. <laughs> it is incredible. It's, I just had to mention. It's a very fun movie. It really is. Yeah. It, is. it really is. It is. Yeah, and there was a PBS like three-part series or something too, wasn't there? Oh, that's right. Oh, Children of Dune. Or, or did the, I foresee it? I, the, oh, was it a different novel? Oh, oh no. There's, there's also the documentary called Jardowski's Dune, which was fantastic. Um, <laughs> Aubrey and I saw that. It was at an indie theater a couple years ago. And this 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 artist style uh, director, he he had like a book this thick of of his of his telling of Dune and how Queen was going to do the entire, or I think it was Queen, Queen was going to do the entire soundtrack, <laughs> and everything was just so crazy and wild out there, and it was going to be like a 12-hour movie. And Salvador uh, Dali was going to be in it, Orson Welles was going to be in it. Right. Yeah. It was wild. It's it's totally a fun documentary. Oh, Pink Floyd, there we go. I saw that in the chat. Uh, yeah, that documentary is so fun. Anyway. Wild. Mm. Wild. <laughs> oh. It's cheapers. <laughs> I love how much people love Dune. Like uh, this makes me really excited for the new movie too. It's just I want I want everyone to get back in. <laughs> I'm excited to see how excited everybody gets about Dune. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> for them to then for the Game of Thrones thing to happen, mm -hmm. where everybody sees the first one and is like, I gotta check out these books. And then they get like a couple in and they're like, what's this? What's going on? What's going on? What? It's, it's real weird, <laughs> real fast. Got a got a got a guy perfect. who turns into a worm. You got a mm -hmm. guy who raises mm -hmm. his own father, just mm -hmm. right, just throwing some root, some the stuff out there. Has <laughs> memories of her whole ancestry, <laughs> and it's very creepy. Yeah, space <laughs> Jews. It's nice to see us. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow! This is so great. I, I love Teos in the back. Like, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. So spoilers. Okay. So yes. it's, it's, they're so context-free. Yeah, they're, exactly. It's just right. 900 pages in you'll be like i'm still in the second book how, how is this happening <laughs> i mean yeah i mean yeah <laughs> well all right um so let's see um we could talk uh, so much more about just the, the bits of dune but i think that's a, a big overview right distant future travel to other planets you're kind of stuck on one until you move to another there's not a lot as much hyper driving i suppose as like a star wars style movie um a little less motion um huge important resources that uh, drive the fates of everything. Um, yeah, uh, so on this tiny little world that is absolutely inhospitable. 
to Richard most said, folks. The other thing yeah. maybe worth mentioning is is yeah. politics, right? I mean, the whole yes. Lance Red Houses yes. politics stuff. That's the, you know, that's the big you're reading, deal. You're reading my notes right here. Two oh. things. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. The technology, the whole setup. But uh, the, the other thing is the politics, the Lance Rad. All the, the folks out here are members of a uh, a noble house in a very, like, uh, regressive feudal society, like <laughs> um, all kind of moving around uh, at the whims of the emperor, who is not um, not on our side, I suppose. I'm not really sure. Uh, kind of presented in the the books, at the very least, as being someone who is willing to let the houses squabble because it's fun. Um, <laughs> He's on his own side. Yeah, it is entertaining. First and foremost, yeah. Right. Got to stay in power. Let these folks fight it out. Um, make sure the strongest folks are, are on the emperor's side. So uh, everything is a little bit political and it's hard to do anything without those motivations. And it also leads to stuff like one of the important economies of Dune is is assassination. You know, you uh, you got to have your poison tasters. You got to be watching out for those seeker darts that move around and just stab whatever's moving and inject poisons into them. Um, uh, <laughs> God, I'm just I love thinking Dune. about the I'm movie. Just, I just love Dune so much. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's enough that as we build our house together, we have to build it with our enemies in mind. And that will be part of our construction today. Um, so I am, I'm quite excited because uh, there's a lot there and there's a lot we could dig into. Um, the Dune RPG that uh, the Modifius has come up with has in fact, uh, it has two different ways to play. And one is uh, how we're going to do it. Kind of, we are actors, we're, we're moving out, we're doing our thing, you know, very adventure style. Um, but they allow for a type of gameplay which is very much more top level. like you are the ambassador you're gonna say what happens and, and things kind of move on you instead of being characters you're kind of like running the house uh it is your puppet you will you will make it move <laughs> um which i think is a really cool cool way to to run a game kind of have like both a, of those like, a, like a management sim yeah of. yeah yeah oh it's yeah fun. yeah the sims dune <laughs> <laughs> i i don't right i, I have no idea <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't um, think the, the the Sims Dune would be quite as engaging as uh, it's the RPG. But you know, we'll yeah. see. I'm gonna. I'm I gotta, gotta get some good mods. That's, that's where. I mean, that's true. The, the Sandworm yeah. expansion. Oh really. my goodness! Chomping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I God, like. I like folks getting bored and turning on those shields and suddenly your town doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Someone brought in a laser gun and <laughs> Oh my goodness. Exactly. Well, uh, with that, let's, let's start diving into house creation before we do, I got to jump in. We've got a bunch of fantastic folks who are, uh, jumping in here with subs and bits and things we got. Let's see, uh, jumbo lump crab meat. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see Melba in here. Uh, Zevon 45, That's Terror me. Hawk, Aubrey Jello, um, Fair Thunder off. Cabbage. <laughs> Thunder Cabbage! Uh, I, that's oh my gosh, Shovik uh, <laughs> Sadi. Oh my gosh, this is just so great. Thank you all so much for supporting this. Uh, we haven't even started building a house yet. I can't. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thank you. Um, building a house here is the beginning. We have to decide like what we're going to be. Like how powerful are we going to be in the world? Um, and I'm going to go through kind of what we've got in. Um, I mean, we're we're bringing up our house sheet. I think pretty quick, just so you can kind of see the character sheet for the house itself. Um, but I'm going to be going through parts of the book uh, in chapter three. Right, so creating your house is something you do before you even create your characters, just to give you a sense of what the heck uh, our story is going to be about. Um, we don't just in meet in a tavern. That's not. No. No. Oh, okay. No. Great. We we start as agents of a house. I mean. <laughs> We might end up in a tavern pretty quick. <laughs> um, actually, as I was reading the book, there are some like play scenarios where they show examples of play that are definitely in a tavern. So uh, it's not out of bounds. <laughs> That's a few. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We can't yeah. help it. Um, so our first big decision as a group is to decide what kind of a house we're going to be playing. Uh, we've got a couple levels here, a couple ranks. Um, we could potentially play one of the great houses, um, already super powerful with a uh, a personal empire, you know, expanding multiple worlds. We could be a major house where we possibly control one planet. Uh, that's about it. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, uh, but we may have major enemies, all sorts of things. Um, 
we could be a minor house, someone who has just kind of come up. We control, you know, a third of a planet, half a planet. Maybe the other half is another minor house that we're warring with. Maybe it's a major house who's keeping tabs on us. Who knows? Um, or we could just be a young up and comer. Uh, we could be a nascent house like we have just been or, you know, given noble status and we're trying to build up our our empire from here. Um, how do we want to start this? Where do we want to start our story at? Why, Rich? Why wouldn't we pick the most powerful house? <laughs> okay, good good I, question. <laughs> for me, it depends on 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 okay. the length of the campaign, right? You know, so so you know, we're we're just doing like five sessions. So I don't think a great house may may, may maybe a great house is a fantastic put, but for like a longer campaign, I might choose a minor house because it'd be fun to go toe to toe with a other house. So. Uh, right. But yeah, I think I agree with Cohen. Yeah, let's go great. I, I would say let's oh, go great sorry. house or let's go uh, nascent house. <laughs> my 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 <laughs> strong up, preference is for like weakest possible because I think that's the most fun. I was kind of trying to throw it to Rich there to see like is there are there some drawbacks if you oh, like, gotcha. what, what are the yeah some mechanicals. Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm you're right. There are. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> It's perfect. Um, the uh, the more powerful your house is, first of all, the more enemies you would have. Uh, a younger house doesn't, you know, you haven't made that many people angry yet. Um, but at high levels, it could be a lot. Also, mechanically in the game, and we'll, we'll start talking about this, um, there's a resource called Threat. Um, there's a resource called Momentum, which is good for you. It's your players, like, succeeding. And based on how much you succeed, you can succeed even more. It's awesome. Uh, I have the opposite of that. Um, I have threats where I can make my enemies more powerful. I can make your tasks harder to accomplish. And it represents your enemies messing with you. Um, and the more powerful your house is, the more threat I get for free. <laughs> so, uh, no. <laughs> right, so I think First in that case, I, I, st I, I like the major house because I, I, like, I like the idea of the DM having ways to mess with us. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm -hmm. That's me. Yeah, what do you think? A whole planet? Ooh, hmm. I mean, I mean that, that is pretty bad. exciting to think. Yes. So it sounds like we're either a major house or a great house. I'm into it. Does a does a minor house get a planet? Can they, they get, get like a third get... of a planet? Okay, they get yeah. a third of a planet. Okay. We share, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not enough planet. All right. That's All right. fair. All right. So I can see. I can get into. I can get into major for sure. As long as, okay. as long as we all agree that we're we're trying to get we're trying to become a great house. Yeah. Okay. Well, clearly. I just want to make sure we're all on that hustle mindset. Okay. Ready to out okay. here to grind. Right. I'm ready. Excellent. Well, the the empire is kind of like a pyramid scheme. So, uh, so you do have many minor houses that are serving you as a major house, right? So, mm -hmm. the oh more resources God. they can funnel, the more power you get, right? Once the empire re re or realizes that you are so important, they they add you to the the you know the great staff. Um, let's see. You may have several agents and soldiers at your command. You're a leading force, a leading force in at least one area of commerce. Um, and like I said, spies and assassins might be everywhere. There's many rival houses uh, that covet your power. That's that's the major level. <laughs> but I like it, so I've gone ahead and marked that as major, which is going to give me some fun options. Thank you very much. Um, it also seems good because it's sort of what Dune's about, is those yes. levels of danger. So I'm, I'm on board. Right. It's good. Sure. Um, yeah, it's a, if you're playing a nascent house, you get to do a lot of cool stuff, but do you get to go to uh, uh, Arrakis anytime soon? I don't know. I don't know. You not. might be out on, the, out on the borders for a long time. So major sounds good. Um, let's see. I think, I think as I'm considering the, uh, the kind of options here that uh, I think House Atreides is uh, major moving to great. I think that's kind of its, its setup in the game. So They're, that's kind of where it, we're talking okay. about. Cool. I think so. I think so. They might be great. I'm not positive. Um, all right. Perfect. Well, we have a major house, which means not only do we control a planet that we got to talk about for sure, um, but like we also control some industry, right? We do some stuff. Um, as a major house, so we get one domain that we are, this is our primary focus, and we are renowned for these things. But we also have two secondary ones that are, you know, pretty good. <laughs> um, so we have to decide on what our areas of expertise are for our house. Um, should we, okay, we got to do two things. Should we do that or should we name our house at this point? We've got a major house. Should we like start pumping it up? Do we need a name? I mean, I thought I we, we were should... naming it Spice World. 
It's pretty Spice good. World? Spice it's, World. I, okay. I like the I idea. I on that. I really was. Spice World. <laughs> I like the idea that we're out here, like, trying to, like, be like, well, we're the Spice World, obviously. Like, there's this other planet that's got the super important spice that everybody <laughs> needs. But we're like, but we, we were the first ones to register Spice World dot ltd you know oh trademark so like, like our, that's in our mm -hmm. domain mm -hmm. one of our domains could be spices like yeah 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 other spices absolutely so so yeah. we could be like a farming domain where we farm uh you know, c crops that are like you know salt <laughs> and is, is, is is what you're saying yeah, yeah like yeah. actual spices oh yeah, perfect i love spices it spices and stuff we, we oh, have like entertainment right secondary entertainment would link us oh yeah to... entertainment maybe cooking oh, cool. yeah we yeah we could do all of these because we have three <laughs> domains to pick we one of three. them is our primary this feels right we've, mm -hmm. yeah. we've built our domain on cooking shows <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness <laughs> the great maracas baking show yeah. <laughs> i was trying to run that through my head how can we make that work that's golden yeah, yeah this is incredible for, for I, entertainment I, oh, spices wow. and is there uh we have one more domain to pick we do yeah, and we're gonna I dig in a little can... bit more on these. Yeah. Well, more. maybe maybe it's we're like. To get the domains. Is this too granular, Rich? If we say agriculture, because we're like, like like you said, we're farming and creating, you know, growing the spices, and then we're selling the spices. So is that a separate one? That Ooh, good question. Okay. Let's see. Um, I think that we could do that. I think that would be all right. Um, right, because you are going to have, it sounds like you're going to focus on, on some pretty specific things. We could also do farming as in produce what we make. And then we also have kind of an industrial complex where we are uh, putting that spice and sending mm -hmm. it out. You know? Yes, I think that, I mean, what does everyone think of that? I think that's yeah. kind of fun to just like build all it. around this jokey name. I love it's it. Also I love. This is, this is so because, great. Because this is the future, um, it's not out of the, the question that we could be providing food that when you consume it or open the package or whatever, entertainment plays. So maybe we do both simultaneously. That's our trademark. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's mm -hmm. like Kinder Eggs, but with a raven side. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. brought to you by Spice World. Like, like no, that's, no. The that's like another <laughs> copy right there. It's oh, like, man. Wait, what? is Spice World our home world or our house name? I mean, that's a great, we do have to name both. So is that I'm, House Spice World? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember which, uh, uh, if we said either way. Oh, what what, I, about, what about Posh Spice for the house? <gasps> house of Posh. There house we go. Posh. There house it is. Of yeah. Posh. Yeah. There it okay. is. Yeah. We are oh so, my gosh. we are so like new money trying yeah. to like, <laughs> trying to sell this or all that crime. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, I love this. <laughs> so the house, the house is Posh. And the home world is Spice World. Okay. Okay. It. And, and so it this is confuses great. Confuses people all the time, right? Because yes, they're like, yes. "Wait, isn't that Dune?" And you're like, "The other spices." Oh, mm -hmm. you're saying, oh, oh the you, other spices. We got. You, them. you only know about one spice. Let me tell you about these other spices. Oh, <laughs> we got wow. turmeric. We yeah, got cool nutmeg. <laughs> oh my god. You know, we got we got uh, what's some other? Oh, really Cayenne. You believe out. all these spices? <laughs> I got. Yeah. Oh my Human. gosh. <laughs> I saw TV dinners uh, in the chat, and I think that's exactly the kind of deliciousness yeah. we're providing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what it's we feeling TV like. Dinners. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> we think our food is great, but really, like most of the rest of the universe thinks it's gruel. <laughs> it's the stuff that, like, oh, it's so it's, bad. you know, it's the stuff that you just heat up real quick when you don't have time to like <laughs> make a, a meal. Yeah, it's the you know it's perfect. Every, everyone yeah. remembers like the dollar spaghetti that you could buy in the freezer section, right? Where you'd buy like ten of them and hope to get by for the week. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. but, but no, I never experienced mm -hmm. this. Ours includes uh, <laughs> like a little pack of red red pepper flakes that you just dump all over everything. Exactly. <laughs> like, these aren't good spices. I think they're just like we give you a lot. <laughs> they're just spices. Okay. Yeah, they're just, they just are spices. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh wow! Not be, well paired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can have tiered products, right? We can we can yeah. cater to different. You know. I, I, okay, totally yeah. I feel like the spice line is the one we're trying to make like fancy because it, it you know the the music that plays when you open it's supposed to be like a, a upper echelon experience and then there's just the TV dinners and just, yeah, but that's okay. how we make our money. But we want to be making mm -hmm. it with the cool spice. I'm with you. Rich, is this uh, too much? Have we gone too far with this? No, no. Yeah. This is amazing. Okay. Right? Because, it, you know, uh, what I like about this is 
Dune is about like three houses and that's it. So I love that we are building a major house to compete with those big stories. And yeah. this is where we're starting. We're doing great. <laughs> okay. All right. Got a um, huge chip on our shoulder. Oh, no <laughs> kidding. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm into uh, this. Is our, um, do we have, yeah. do we talk about entertainment as a sub, as a sub? Mm -hmm. yep. So I'm thinking, obviously, what is it? We got the nutmeg challenge. We got the hot pepper yeah. challenge. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. People just mm -hmm. ingesting the spices too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of, it's sort of like a <laughs> like a like proving thing. Yes. Overindulgence wow. in the spice. Oh my I love word! It. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, this is sounding pretty pretty commercial. This is fantastic. I love this. Right, this is going to propel your house um, into the future. Right, but you also have rivals. You've got folks who want to come at you and take your <laughs> take this other spice, all these other spices for themselves. Um, so we uh -huh. have we have other special we have one other specialty a secondary and I just want to point out some of the other areas of expertise that we could do stuff like espionage stuff like political or military uh, stuff like Conley which is the art of s or assassination <laughs> um, these are all things that we could also be doing something else in the background while we are focusing on this spicy food empire um, <laughs> so, is there anything else going on in the background <laughs> along the desert track we do a lot of food poisoning yeah yeah that feels mm -hmm. like <laughs> like maybe yeah, like well, non -le non lethal non lethal food poisoning just like food over spicing okay like that's that's the that's the service we're offering. It's like when murder when murder's too much. Just want to make them sick. Just want to ruin their day with too much yeah. spice. Mm -hmm. I, Not that kind of spice. I, I agree spice. with the Adventures of Tony. IBS. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I uh, like the idea wow. that wow. Uh, comes in in the Dark Sun setting for Dungeons and Dragons, where the bards are also the assassins. Mm -hmm. And there could be that angle to it that when you go to say like a live show that we're running, like that could also be involve you paying us to take someone out, right? But you can't refuse that invitation, right? That kind of angle of like you've got to go to the show, but you know the show could be your downfall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like that mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. Yes. Yikes! I like this. So it sounds like we we're we're doing a couple different things here with our expertise. We're we're both creating a pro a, like a product of some kind, poisonous food, but we also are training workers. We're training our entertainers into being assassins at the same time. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love wow. It. We have a brand to maintain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is amazing. Like now, I just now I'm thinking about. Okay, imagine that you. This, well, we don't have to. This is us. This is House House of Posh. Um, we are. We control an entire planet, and this industry is the focal point of a world, like called Spice World. Um, what What is that world like? I mean, how do you see that? We're growing all these spices. We're collecting them. Is this like? Do we have greenhouses everywhere? Is it a is it another like is it a very warm place for these spices to grow? What a what is it? Okay. What is our world like? Okay, okay, so so follow me. There, everyone gets around on jet skis and ships, and okay. you know people start Wait, to grow gills behind their uh, no, ears. No, hold on. And I gotta uh, now. The star on Kevin Costner. <laughs> And then there's a postman who is now. Get him in that. Get him. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> Rouch, you, Rich, you said you could vouch for him? I, I don't. <laughs> I, I'm picturing uh, like. I sent him an email like, a month ago. <laughs> miles long trellises just covered in like pepper plants. You know what I mean? Just like, just mm -hmm. like horizon to horizon. Just like, like I'm not saying like whole planet, but, but that's like the first. It's like spice planet. It's like everything normal, but just like scale it up. We got yeah, yeah. God, uh, I, I, how... I can only think of peppers. I don't, I don't know in how Giant any other mushrooms? spices are made. But yeah. Do, do oh, people like uh, ecological just like plants? You yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. Of different mm -hmm. types of plants. Mm -hmm. Ecological right. over industrial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have like huge mills that like run for miles, eating it all up and chewing them up. No, it's not. It's like are these hand picks? Yeah, we're gonna need that too. It's I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some parts okay. of the planet are for growing, and then there's the industrial parts, and maybe that's what the different minor houses do. Like one one of the minor houses is like yes. our managers for the farming, and then another is oh, the sure. managers for the industrial stuff, and the other is like the social media. So all these like nutmeg challenges and stuff we're talking about, they take care wow. of. Wow, <laughs> I, I kind of like the big idea. industry. Mm -hmm. 
kind of Margaret Atwood angle is that we might call it like nutmeg, but nutmeg is an old earth term that still sticks around, but it could literally be grown from some bizarre, like, yeah, yeah flat, like that. Right? Like, like, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Just... Most of our spices are not the same spices as earth has. Oh, mm -hmm. that's that rules. Yeah. Just the, the words have continued. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's like, like it. oh, you need some new cumin, and I just you just go over and just like pull something, pull like a the wing off of a giant bat you have like <laughs> tied up in the corner. Be like, ah, oh, here you go, it's fresh. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Cumin. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Great Ideal. Suits. Yikes. <laughs> okay, you know where I go, Rich. I'm sorry. I know this is good. This is good. This is why you're here. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I, I make it um, got so fast. <laughs> we we played the our our home campaign was this very heroic campaign, and Cohen made the most Dune character, um, the political animal. I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fun. Connell Velveteen. Yes, I miss him. Me too. He was new money. Um, it's like my I mean, favorite character to play. It's like <laughs> somebody with a huge inferiority complex and something to prove. I don't know where I get it from. Uh, what if, uh, as you get the center of the planet, uh, where whatever we call like our capital, that's where you sure. have all the entertainment business. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you 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 end up with okay. a megapolis in the center kind of thing. Oh, so is it is it like all roads lead to your megalopolis? Ooh, the center, uh, yeah. Like a Disney okay. type, you know, mm. park theme. Ooh, food, everything, mm -hmm. all of it. Do uh, yeah. do do, what are, do people okay. come from around the galaxy to go here and never leave? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. I mean, once call it for nice. tourism. We call it the mm -hmm. rack. Like a spice yes, rack. we do. Yep. I do like Capital McCormick from the chat, but yeah, yeah that's rack. good too. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Oh my gosh! Okay, wow. Things always have like six names in Dune, so it's like we could absolutely mm -hmm. do both. <laughs> sure. Wow. Okay, so I'm envisioning this like this Disney Vegas crossover center of everything. Everything is um, bright, shiny, or is there music everywhere? What do you? Um, Definitely music. Okay. It smells very fragrant all sure. the time. Yeah, it's stop. got the Disney. It's got the Disney's like smell uh -huh. spray stuff going on. Like we know. Oh uh, like I think if you were to actually <laughs> visit the parts, that, I, I'm just throwing this out here. But this, I had this idea. Like the parts of the planets where we actually grow the spice, most humans could not like even enter there. They would just be immediately overwhelmed. But like we, there are people there who have just lived there so long that they've kind of genetically bred to have duller senses but we have this uh -huh. like yeah like this like disney vegas fake thing that's like way way toned down it's like it's like a american it's the americanized it's the americanized spicy food essentially. and the way that our food isn't what it is and we have this espionage side maybe it's all about sort of like illusion sense manipulation right so like when you're in the capital Ooh. Like it's all about experiences, but not facts. Like mm, that's yeah. the thought of it all. Okay. Oh, all spice, oh, no wow. steak. It <laughs> almost, mm. almost has like a fun house quality too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Like, like in my head, I was picturing like Wall Market for Final Fantasy VII, but bigger and more ornate and what more wild. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. This sounds amazing. And then in the background, like beyond that, we have the these these spice machines like gathering it all. Um, you've got people out there. Okay. This this sounds very, very similar to a Dune like world. Um I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. The bright the brighter the city, the darker the shadow it casts. Sure. You know, that's sure. where yeah. that's where uh, espionage yeah. is right? happening. Yeah. And there are probably some oceans that are just like heavily like, you know, we've got things growing in them at all the mm -hmm. levels going on down, right? Just Okay. Ooh, oh. Our water probably tastes so weird here. Yeah, I, I think That's we got amazing. at least, at least amazing. one ocean <laughs> has got to be called like the broth. <laughs> yes, bouillon. It's the bouillon, please. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh my god! Taste that one. That, that, <laughs> that ocean. Wow. So salty. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Okay, okay. So I love this, and I love that you've got your, your other minor houses who are working for you. So while you gather the, the benefits of all of this, you kind of focus on the, the city itself, you know, the, the wonders here, right? You don't have to do the work anymore. 
Yeah, how sporty Lovely. helps us with the social media. Sure. How uh, Ginger actually like <laughs> is 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 the farming guild. Yeah, that's an act. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like that one. That's one of the few that's an actual spice in right. the Spice mm -hmm. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How, how scary wow. is our uh, our Canley department? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure the assassins. <laughs> what have we done? I love it. Oh my gosh, this is just, it's writing itself. Right. I'm not going to lie, I did have to pull up the Wikipedia on Spice Girls to remember all their names. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. What about Baby? Uh, that's oh. the last one. I think it's still on a pier. Incredible! It works. Oh my gosh! Wow the uh, the stories of House of Posh. I love this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh wow. Um, uh, we still have to pick things like uh, descriptive things, stuff that we're going to remember about our our thing. Where I think we're almost done with most of the description. I, I can see us pretty clearly. Do we have a house crest? Do we have an image <clears throat> that symbolizes what Spice World is all about? Maybe like a salt and pepper shaker. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like okay. That a lot. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> totally in for that. You know, it's just, it's just like, look. They can be crossed. Oh, they have to like, be crossed. Cross. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. cross that means unity skull. or something. Yeah. <laughs> or like swords, because can lead. The pepper grinder yeah. can ah. even be a little menacing. Like it, it, the kind, it's a little bit of a threat. Like we will grind you. Oh, it's, oh my gosh. It's, it's a salt and pepper. And then pour shaker, salt on the wound. And then there's a grinder down the middle. <laughs> oh, maybe, gosh. maybe that's our maybe that's our motto. We will grind you. I was just gonna ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's sung to the tune of "We will rock you, we will grind you." <laughs> yeah, so it can be like a fun phrase, like "We will grind you," or it can be like "We will grind you." Yeah, that's oh. that's dope. In the Ben Wow, we got there quick. I yeah. Love it. <laughs> The cohesion. So, oh it. my gosh. Yeah. You've done it. You've here done it. It's just incredible. It really is. Okay. We have one last thing to decide about our house before the house itself is complete. And that is really important. We need to come up with a trait, a single trait. And it could be a descriptive thing, you know, co courageous, secretive, whatever else. You know, it just needs to be kind of a descriptive word that defines our house, that all of our NPCs, all of our characters, kind of like take on this trait themselves um just by the nature of being part of our house i gotta say it guys zesty yeah Ooh. oh man i love it we are zesty <laughs> So wow! Like, I don't know. My... How do you be zest? You know what? I'll just be zesty. Yeah, we can yeah, all, I think you can know how to. For that. I think you know how to be zesty. <laughs> when, when you, when I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> when you're being zesty, you're you know you're being zesty. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. Your oh, game master love loves nebulous sense. traits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that means uh, as we're playing the game at any moment when when you were like, I can do this because we're zesty, um, you can do it. That's fantastic. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, traits, traits are big and important. So that's a that's a big deal. Wow. OK. OK. So we have we have our house established, of course. Um, we want to make our characters. But before we do that, I mean, our characters, we're not going to be the rulers of this house. Maybe we will be someday. But at the moment, we're you know, we're we're kind of like. We might be there when um, when the leader of this house calls everyone, like a big, huge meeting, right? We're in the room then. But when when the leader like takes the advisors into the the special secret meeting chamber, that's not that's not us. <laughs> so we need to take a moment. And before we think about our, our enemies or why people wouldn't like us, I mean, we're the best. Um, I want to think about like who who runs this house, like who controls it? Who are the major players in this? They might be um, members of one of the specific bits, one of the specific guilds or something here. Um, they might be um, have specific roles that would make sense in the world of Dune. Um, if you look at the the house record sheet, there's like I don't know, 15 roles or something that we could create. And we don't need to fill this list out completely. But we kind of want to know who who is involved in this house and maybe who our characters like take the lead from. You know, mm. who's going to tell us to go do something if it's time for a mission or who is going to give us the tools that we need if, if we are headed off in a specific direction. Um, Hear me out. I'm ready. I think we only have two real options. Uh-huh. It's either Gordon Ramsay or Guy Fieri. 
We strive for zestiness, so it's got to be Guy Fieri. What? What can about we not have both? Chef Alberti. That's true. Maybe <laughs> Gordon Ramsay can be an advisor, and Gordon and Guy Fieri is our ruler. Okay. Okay. From sugar, fat, salt, heat. What was that? She has to be in here somehow. She has. Yeah, to be, just, like, I'm just throwing her like house okay. doctor mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. Yes, just, yes. Okay. She's, all right, all right. So I'm let's just gonna name all of our people after <laughs> chefs. <laughs> it's right. We named our. I love it. We named our I planet after the Spice Girls. <laughs> I think we, we, we've set we set a we set a, a trajectory that we yeah. have to continue on at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Well, in that case, let's start off with the the head of the house, right? Um. Probably someone who is going to have some kind of a noble rank. Probably the only person who will be referred to by a noble rank. And since we're a major house, you know, we're looking at things like, I don't know, that that like baron, duchess. There's a there's yeah. a level of, of feudalism in there that we can tack on. Head chef Fieri. Done. You go with Fieri? Head chef. Head chef. Head chef. Um, Fieri is the one. That's, that's very important. I think Those Fieri, are I think Fieri is important titles. Think about which which of the chefs are the zestiest. I think Fieri very, has got that's, the zest. That's yeah. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. Mm-hmm. Gordon Ramsay is wow. great, but I think Gordon Ramsay is going to be our sword master, if anything. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I think yeah. I think I just like nascent. I was just like, well, the British one is obviously in charge, which is something I need to unpack. I guess <laughs> <laughs> off, off screen, maybe. And I like the idea that there's this, uh, you know, that whole subterfuge perception illusion kind of thing. So it's the idea of like, oh yeah, we're led by the cooking side, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, but, yes. but, it, but it probably isn't really that way, right? It's not just about the the cooking. That's not what, right. what our main drive is. Right. Yeah. Diners, dives, and drive drive-ins, like it could get a little bit like like that's a, it's a little bit it's a little bit uh what's the word I'm looking for? Ominous. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like I mean, scenes yeah. of the crime. Yes. <laughs> that's where it happens. Oh that's, that's, those are that, those are his thiefdoms. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I love this that you have this this spectacular host in charge, right? Mm-hmm. The the focus is all on the cooking, and that's all we do. That's it. And I'm just mm-hmm. gonna like, you know, uh, make sure you're you're totally within that wheelhouse. That's perfect. I love this. That leaves so much room for trickery. Um, <laughs> let's see. There's, you know, like I said, we don't have to do every single one of these, but there. It sounds like you had a Gordon Ramsay idea. So where are we moving with the angriest chef? Is he the angriest chef? Uh, what what are these uh, roles yeah, that we pretty angry yeah. i feel you, like it can you catch me up richard what, what roles yeah. are we trying to fill right now sure 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 um so here's some of the roles that are usually important in a house certainly we have our, our rulers uh whatever that might look like um and since it is feudal that's often kind of a familial thing um we have the the heir if the house has one uh that is often a role that like a player could take on as well um we might have an advisor who is just I just know stuff. I help you make decisions. Um, we could have something like a chief physician. Um, often very important, actually. I mean, in a world where major world leaders can be killed by a sword or poison, like you kind of need a physician. Um, and the the physicians in Dune are often have this level of imperial training where they can't actually hurt a human being um, so that they become these trusted assistants. Um, <laughs> I was going to say spoilers for Dune, but like, I don't know. <laughs> um, do no harm. I mean, you know. um, um, we certainly need folks like envoys, people we would send out to uh, to deal with other. I mean, we absolutely would for a major house like this, someone we would trust to talk to other houses, especially ones we hate. Um, uh, we might need a marshal who is running, even though we are not a military house. Maybe we probably do have some forces out there. We might someone who wants someone who is trained in leading the military. Which Ooh. may or may not be the same thing as the swordmaster, who is teaching dueling, um, you know, smaller skirmish uh, ways to fight individually. What, Teos, if yeah. the, what if the marshal is somebody who's sort of like a, um, like I'm thinking like old TV show, you know, dressed in like safari explorer absurd <laughs> thing. Like, like the idea, ostensibly our military hats. is to tame the creatures that we raise that can go wild and, 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 and maybe even to launch expeditions to other worlds to find creatures for new foods and spices. So maybe it's like that kind of a uh, military operation, right? It's, it's more wow. some weird safari-ish thing. Yeah. <laughs> Historically, <laughs> for it's the not that off. It's not that unrealistic. That is sort of, that is what drove a lot of like, like explore, exploration uh, here. <laughs> so, 
it's not not far off. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So, uh, okay, that sounds pretty reasonable. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, just real quick, other stuff we could have some like some scholar again. Uh, we don't know a lot, and we don't have Google, so the folks in Dune know less than we do about things, um, for sure. Uh, unless you have one of the like the Order of the Mentats kind of folks who have a very Sherlock style mind palace they can go to with all sorts of facts in it. Um, Spy Master, pretty important. Uh, you do have enemies. Um, we're going to talk about the enemies, but one of my favorite things as we get in here is our, our enemies are not necessarily because they hate us. It may be because we did something to them. You know, it's a mutual sort of thing. We're, we're, we gained power somehow. Wh yeah. Who did we, you know, step across to do that? <laughs> yeah. Um, Swordmaster, uh, like I was saying, uh, treasurer, war master, you know, just kind of folks who might have some influence on different parts of our industry. Um, and I think that we have also specifically created roles, right? To the, the leader of the, the farming group. We have our, our, <laughs> we have our spice team out here in the world. You know, if we want them to be part of this, uh, these roles as well, we can totally do that. And we got our top um, chef, right? <laughs> we yeah. gotta have our top chef. <laughs> top chef, <laughs> iron chef, uh -huh. um, chopped, the chopped. I don't know what that is. Uh -huh. Just throw that out there. The chop is our baker. military. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh -huh. The chop. The chop is our military. The chop sounds very high, like very sci-fi fantasy. Like that's it like, really that's, does. It's like it's like I can picture that like capital T, capital C. I'm on page 19. I'm like, what the what? What is? I gotta know. <laughs> I hope this book has a glossary. It does. And the uh, the sword, oh. the uh, spy yeah. master could be something like you know, uh, an entertainment type thing, right? Like master of ceremonies or um, Ooh. the channel master or so something, you know, something that speaks to sort of the entertainment side. I, I, I love I love the idea of them, their their title. Like I'm writing down some of it or typing down some of the stuff like, you know, like the idea of someone brought up Iron Chef. I was like, okay, well, clearly that's the title for our sword master. And then our spy master is clearly the master of ceremonies. <laughs> and um, you know, it's if if, if we, we keep these titles themed, it could be a ton of fun. Uh I really like that idea that the spy master is is someone who's right there, right? Yeah. Everybody knows that's their spy master right yeah. on stage introducing everybody. Yeah. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Just gonna throw this out there. Rachel Ray. <laughs> Rachel Ray. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was going to say Julia Child. That was my mm, number two. So like, I'm totally, yes, yeah. yes. I, I, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same vibe. I love this. But like what position? Well, we, we do. There's uh, an envoy. An envoy would be a good uh, Julia Child, I think. Sharer yeah. of yeah. knowledge, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's got that, she's got that, uh, what's that the word? Vibes? That bearing, you know? She's very, yeah, mm -hmm. very charismatic. Yeah. You want someone who has charisma. Yeah. So For one sure. option, Ooh. I don't know if we want to go this deep into it, but we could demand that all of them have the last name Spice. So it'd be Child Spice. Oh, yeah. You know, like it all could be <laughs> Oh, like hyphenated? <laughs> Julia Child Spice? Yeah. Julia Child Spice? Yeah, I like that. I like that just to, so I don't get super confused. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Everyone will have a hyphenated last name of Spice. <laughs> Says head chef Guy or Guy Fieri Spice, right? Fieri Spice, perfect. <laughs> wow, this is fantastic. I love this. Just bringing all this imagery in. This is perfect. Um, let's uh, let's let's dig into a couple of these because I'm I'm curious. I, I want to. I think for the Swordmaster, were we going with the Chopped as this terrifying figure? Maybe we don't even know their real name. Is that oh. what's happening here? <laughs> oh. Or yeah, is that just a title? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that even better than the military. Well, I well, think it's a title, but you just don't know who's behind the mask. It, exactly. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, they've always been the chopped. Yeah, and then when that oh, chopped falls, a new chopped comes and takes over. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's all like inter. Yes. Like there's like maybe a, like it, they they manage their own business. They're very secretive. They seem loyal, but this is this is this is there's like always a little bit of friction of like. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a you've been dealing with the same guy for like twelve years, and then there's somebody new, and it's like you don't ask. That's not what you do. It's just like sure. I, don't mm -hmm. I don't know what happened there. None of my business, How? I guess. Uh, Rich, How eerie! I, yeah. have a, I have a question from the chat, and I'm actually pretty interested in uh, in, in the answer as well. Uh, do non-male mentats, doctors, or soldiers exist in the setting? 
Um, I will tell you uh, that that there is probably Dune lore, and then there is how I feel about it, which is that gender should not be holding any of these things back. So right. perfect, please. But yeah, yeah, they do. They do. They do. Yeah. I, I, and, and I think some of the yeah. things that are gender in in the sci-fi are often there to underscore the horrible choices people have made. Uh, rather to, than to condone them, right? So, which is right, important. right, and that's and, and I and I mean, I guess that's a little bit more of what I was asking. Like, is that going to play a role? If it's not, then cool. And I think uh, Five Foot Latina <laughs> will uh, agree with that as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. We're, it's 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 for for a book written by a, uh, a white guy born in 1920, surprisingly progressive. And then occasionally you'll like stumble across something like. Oh my God! Oh, right, right 1920. Right. But like, yeah. Yeah. for the most part, like, surprising. It's like, oh, I'll be damned. Mm -hmm. Awesome, oh. right? Uh, and that does show up in the book. And I, I kind of skimmed past this completely at the start, which is like dealing with the how the house works, like the leadership in the house. I mean, because it is very feudalistic. There's a lot of stuff in the books about. I mean, the 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 book opens with like the the details of political marriage and things like that. And it's just, it's just there's so many ways that families could exist in the future that just we. <laughs> Ten yeah. thousands and thousands of years from now. I mean, yeah. We it's did unfortunate it that's way. all in the book. We, yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> is that our house motto? <laughs> no, we will no, grind we you. Will grind you. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, and we'll do okay. it our way. <laughs> and um, okay, so we have this mysterious the chopped who is teaching a lot of the folks around here probably about weapons. Um, your characters may have trained mm -hmm. with the chopped at some points, especially if you will be some sort of, of weapon user, you know? Um, perfect. Um, what about scholars? Like who who is the person around here who we trust to know language about or uh, no knowledge about all sorts of things around the galaxy? Who do we turn to? William Defoe. I mean, <laughs> uh, is he a cook? Trusted chef, Willem Defoe. <laughs> I don't know, but I tr but I trust that guy. <laughs> how do you? How is it? Is it Samin Nasrat? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Is that the the salt salt fat acid heat lady? Oh. Yes, I I couldn't remember her name, but I was thinking of her too for this. Was, okay. Yeah, I was like, who's the, I was like, who's the, who, who's the most like continental? person like and there's i don't i don't watch a lot of cooking stuff most of it competitions uh, so but i was trying to think of like the last thing i saw mm -hmm. and yeah I, i'm throwing her i'm throwing her into the ring i'm volunteering i'm volunteering yeah, I like to me fantastic I like fantastic that. not that willem dafoe is a bad answer no but... no 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 no, no. <laughs> but william dafoe is very versatile he could fit into any other uh situation here right yeah so that is going to be our our scholar scholar okay i like it I like it. Wow, wow. Yeah, and, I, and again, I like the idea that this scholar would have this um, sort of tales within tales, right? Nothing's just the information that it seems to be. There's a, a story mm -hmm. behind it or a thing to work through to get the real oh. truth. So it's it's a lot of like like teaching through fables, um, teaching yeah. through you know allegory and all sorts. Of, okay, okay. I like the that. Real so you has to be uncovered, right? So when you learn from this scholar, you walk away and have to think about it for quite some time before you realize you've learned the thing. And it's almost like a code. Like if someone mm -hmm. found our guidebook and you read it, you'd be like, oh, maybe it is about cooking. But you're not seeing that the ingredient list is actually t telling right. you a whole other thing. Uh, oh, my gosh. Just on it. I didn't even think about this for a second. When you send out your dinners in this house, do you do you post all the spices on there or is it a secret spice blend? <laughs> Oh, mm. secret spice blend. I think if you if you, sure. if you can't eat the dinner and tell what the spices are in it, you shouldn't be at the table. Get out of the family. Well, Get out okay. of the house. Yeah. <laughs> Only Fair secret enough. outsiders. And, and yeah, I, think, I think we also take the liberty of telling you what it is. And, and, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Over, may not over be dinner. That, right? it, oh, I see. Just, it's, it's like... Um, the, the entertainment and the advertising of it, it need not be factual, right? It can can just you be... guess what spice is in this? Oh, I, I was know? thinking internal, like internally, like just like, like uh -huh. at our, like in our, in, you know, that, you know, like within, like, yeah, obviously, the tourists, we have to, t we have to tell them, you know, you have to leave uh -huh. them on the nose. I see, I see. Um, okay, okay, we've got a couple of these, I think, uh, you know, ancillary rolls down. We've got we've got an idea for our marshal, which I like. We've got uh, our scholar, our spy master. We've got head chef Fieri. But I feel like there's got to be somebody, like a main advisor, who is, from what it sounds like, the puppet master, the person behind the illusion. Right? You've got your uh, 
Wizard of Oz behind the curtain style thing? Is there someone leading the uh, the darker sections of the house? Hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good. I, good. I was thinking that was the spy master, but uh, oh, they're fair, because they're out in front, right? And so yeah, that they would tie together that uh, entertainment and assassination side. Gotcha. So that's kind of like the big focus on um, when you are talking about your, your kind of like circular, the mazes that you build in the city to keep people in and entertained. This spy master is the person making those decisions happen. This is our this is the the Disney Imagineer of our city, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Keeping like everyone in. Walt. OK, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of like Walt, Walt theoretically built tunnels underground or something for the CIA. Oh, yeah. That sort of stuff, right? There, there are sure, lots sure. of stories like that. Mm. OK, okay. Sure. I love it. I love it. All right. We could talk a lot about the chefs that, that influence Spice World. <laughs> and we, we can keep developing yes. them. Um, but we should figure out who despises us enough to try to destroy us. Paula Dean. Um, okay, hold on. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Dylan Chef. I love it. Oh my gosh. She's um, got a she's got a butter planet. <laughs> <laughs> all her stuff is just drenched in butter uh she's got like these horrifying horrifying like hyper mutated cows with like with like udders coming out of the sides of their bodies um i got my perfect, second vax perfect. today and i think it's i think it's kicking in <laughs> oh my gosh uh, you're okay, butter okay. Yeah, yeah. Butter Max. Wow. Sometimes I shouldn't shout out the first thing that pops into my head. Um, I'm sorry. That <laughs> rules. Another, no, you should absolutely do another that. Another yeah. possible angle is somebody that's all about the truth. Like maybe it's a news organization or something Ooh. like that. And so they, they keep killing us with reviews or undermining our intelligence. <sighs> oh and doing like that. exposés okay. on uh, our mm -hmm. city, our Disneyland, Vegas city. Oh, and criticism. Yeah. Wow. Right? They, they They're just do, a like, really brutal critic, critic right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jejun. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this Land. wow. This is wild. Uninspired. Okay. Inspired. So like a global <laughs> trans news network or something like that, right? And they would always be a thorn in our side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like 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 an info broker, right? Like like an yeah. information broker type thing, but it's it but it's but it's just for like a smear campaign. Yeah, yeah, it's just for the entertainment and oh. destination industry. And yeah. we're just getting, we're just, they're, they're on their way up. We're just getting blasted. Like, mm -hmm. like all of our, nothing, we can't do anything right for these people. <laughs> like they obviously have a thing against us, but we can't say anything because you can't respond to the critic. It just, it, sure. Chat yeah. has some pretty funny ideas about planet Yelp, cult of Yelp. <laughs> yes. Oh, there it is. Oh God. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. yeah. It's honestly the best. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Wins. So this is this is fantastic because I feel like um, there are many reasons that that uh, another house might hate you, and you've moved, I think, from beyond simple slight to differences of morality. Uh, mm -hmm. There will be no meeting between your two minds. Um, so that house, let's talk about the truth house for a second, and then we'll get back to Paula Dean. Uh, you have one major villain, one or one major house, equal in power to your own that wants to destroy you, and one minor house. Which of those feels like the minor, and which one the major? Paula Dean's probably the minor. Okay. At as much point, as I want to fight butter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. Like, she's she's our, our that's, that's a great idea. Oh. Somebody who undermines us on the cooking front, right? Like uh, mm -hmm. competing mm -hmm. on supply lines, on approaches to the commerce and food and all that. Mm -hmm. Good. It's a good okay. minor. Yeah. I dig Whew. that. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, Planet Yelp then to get started. Um, Planet Yelp? Is that House Planet Yelp? <laughs> House Yelp? I'm fond of Cult of Yelp, but I don't House, know. Can you yeah. just call yourself the a cult? cult of Yelp. I mean, why not? I think you can. I think you can if you if you carry it right. You know what right. I mean? Okay. Like, if you look like you've been getting enough sleep and, like, eating, then, like, Cult of whatever is like, oh, shit, they own it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, they look so handsome with that Cult of Yelp. Yeah. That, mm. That's a okay. really okay. good definition for a cult I'm going to try to use in my life from now on. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm curious. Sleep, about it's a cult. It's the main <laughs> thing they do. It's the first thing they do if you join a cult is that they try to stop you from getting enough sleep because it just destroys your decision making. It's just very well, simple, but it works. 
this sounds like uh, maybe this isn't like a house, like uh, a house like we are, you know, come to understand them. Maybe this is more like one of the groups, right? It's one of the, uh, you know, more like the Order of the Mentats or something. Maybe this is like this this Yelp crew that just runs around the system, has fingers everywhere, and has specifically targeted us for some reason. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Or it could be a whole planet. I mean, <laughs> those are kind of the, the I like a whole planet could be a whole planet. I, I like... Okay. I, I was going to say, I like the idea of it being... Maybe it can be like it stems from one planet, but it is a movement that yeah. other okay. people Ooh, are getting wrapped yeah. into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it has yeah. a home world. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That way I like we can that. destroy it with a las gun. Yeah. 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 Oh, I like it. Uh-huh. All right. Then most importantly, and we can, <laughs> this game allows for D20 rolls to do this randomly, but uh, but let's just chat through this. How much does this house <laughs> hate you? Uh, is it dislike? Are they rivals? Do they loathe you? Or is it to the assassination level? Oof. I think we're in a war with them. I think that's. I think we're straight up yeah. can like 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 we we tried to be. I'm picturing. I'm picturing like kept things cordial like I've, i'm picturing like the google review where you can see like the owner has like mm-hmm. it's like click to read more messages and it just <laughs> yeah. like spirals it down it's just like this has gotten out of hand that's just, gotcha, that's gotcha. just what yeah. <laughs> amazing okay that. okay um in that case like if you're at this level this means that you obviously at all times have a plan to destroy this house like destroy the roots of it and tear Mm -hmm. it up right um and Mm -hmm. probably all the major members of the house know that plan uh Uh, you might have multiple (laughs) but uh unless you have an opportunity something comes along you won't like directly go for it is that kind of where you're thinking yeah, I think they're like our Harkonnens, right? There's that yeah, yeah. danger that of making reasonable. a strong move because everything would be unstable and it would be right. too out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would it would almost reveal or validate what they do, right? Like, we've got a lot right. to lose. We've got an enterprise. Mm-hmm. We've got we've got an entertainment industry. Sure, <laughs> we've got our, <laughs> our recipes. Um, and as well, right? You also have this this position that you are in, where you are the other spice i mean the empire you know the emperor i'm not sure how happy they're going to be about your inevitable rise to greatness um because then there's two spices i don't know mm. yeah we'll see we'll see mm. <laughs> this is wonderful um okay so we've got that house um it's up to the like loathing war level dark uh but not quite sending assassin drones to kill each other all the time yeah all right yeah. <laughs> okay yeah it's like sometimes mm-hmm. let's Got it, got it. Let's talk about Paula Dean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right. So, real quick though. Uh, so, you you guys have 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 been on the show here more often on Saving Throw with this stuff, but we have a toast. How's that? We work? do. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> they wow. Uh, I got to check my list. Thank you so much for toasting us. Where do we get that toast from? Uh, we got um, it from Five Foot Latina. Ah, uh, fantastic. Thank you so much. That's fantastic. Ah. Uh, exciting um great 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 uh there we go (laughs) hail house posh the spices must flow no no hold on not that spice the other ones uh it's for us (laughs) i love it thank you so much Uh, (laughs) house of posh we are doing so great um okay paula dean paula dean um house Paula Dean, uh, Paula Dean, leader of the house that creates the uh, the tentacle butter cows. Um, yeah. Well, she's yeah. yeah, she's more about sauces, and we're more about spices. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Right. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a bunch of heavy creams. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she, she thinks we use too much spices too. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> um, she uses too much butter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Clearly, mm-hmm. we can't get along. <laughs> gotcha so is is this someone that you are again just like ah, we're fine we just don't like them very much or is is paula dean sending assassins after you on a daily basis what are the options again what are the <laughs> levels of <It's>, <laughs> it goes uh dislike um and that's just means it's it, we distrust each other that's about it we think the worst of each other rival is we're actively trying to bring each other down usually through like court intrigue um loathing gets us into open conflict if it you know, would come up. And Canley is the highest level. That is, we have dedicated our resources to destroying the other house. <laughs> what if, um, 
Yeah, you know, I'm jumping in. Uh, but what if, what if, like, it, it's one of those situations where, like, they're they're all about like taking us down, but we barely like pay attention to them. Yes, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's no big deal to us. Uh, like, yeah. what are you gonna do? Throw butter sticks at us? Uh, that's yeah. cream? exactly right. <laughs> hey, we, we have like zero respect for them, and that's why they loathe us. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. So it's just like this rivals. like on our side. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're just like, eh, I mean, uh, really? Why is like, anyone like It's like a mild inconvenience. I don't so. think about you at all. You know, just that sort of yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> Who are you yeah. again? Exactly. Wow. I don't know her. <laughs> no, 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 no. Love it. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So, if they are trying to assassinate you, but you were like masters of poison, and that is one of the easiest ways, right? Maybe you have a taster, but yeah, you're not worried about it. You've got someone handling it, Paladin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. It's, it's, it's really easy to tell because it's just like you just go in and it's just like, I don't think there's supposed to be this much butter. <laughs> on my meal, <laughs> like, this yeah. is, I think it's like, it's like curdled butter. And we're oh like, mm, God, yeah. Oh my God. We shouldn't eat this. <laughs> can, can, Visibly, we can tell this is bad. This is yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can their sword, this is amazing. Can their sword master be Fabio? Just because of that, <laughs> yes! I can't believe it's not butter. Like erotic said in the chat. Oh my God, I'm writing it down. I don't want to get too deep into it because I know that we we shouldn't like also fill out their whole house, but I do think that their <laughs> assassins should be called smooth operators. <laughs> wow. That's good. That's, that's good. Strong move. That's, that's good. Kind of I'm writing it down. Retire on that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. All right. Um, this is perfect. Um, I love that level. They uh, they clearly dislike you just for this. I mean, this is sounding a lot like an ancient feud. Maybe it is something that like early on, uh, back in the distant past, uh, the forebears of Guy Fieri and Paula Deen had a disagreement about what you would put on your food. Like what goes on your chicken and tofu. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> team spice, team right. sauce, and it's been going on forever since then. Is that what we're thinking? Yeah. Um, and you're I mean, like, she's, she's, long, she's a traditionalist, right? Okay. Like, she's a traditionalist. She's like, this is how you're supposed to cook. This you're supposed <laughs> to put this much butter, and we're we're experimenting. We're getting out there. I see. I Food see. jazz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, perfect. How many times are we going to be able to say food jazz in the next couple of weeks? Um, I'm very excited. Um, this is perfect. These houses right here, uh, House <laughs> uh, House Paula Deen and the Cult of Yelp. Um, mm-hmm. At any moment during the game, I can spend my threat to have operatives from these houses enter the story to uh, do stuff. So Very I, cool. that's one use for my threat is just you're sitting down for a meal and, oh, uh, curdled smooth butter. Operators. What are you going to do? Yeah, <laughs> smooth operators yeah. everywhere. Smooth operators. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I like it. That is excellent. <laughs> this is this bowl of butter. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great corner of the galaxy. I like it very much. Um, and with that, we have we filled out the pieces of our house. I mean, this Ooh. this is incredible. There's certainly more roles that we could fill out, more characters that we could create, more NPCs. Um, but I feel like we know this house. And like Cohen said, we don't quite want to get to the level of defining these other houses either. We want to leave them a little bit open. So character creation is, I mean, session zero is kind of in those two parts. That's the first thing, because now we all have a base for our characters. We have a home. We have a planet. Uh, it's all ours. Um, your characters, maybe they are members of you know, this elite that lives in the rack. <laughs> <laughs> here in the center of your your world. Uh, maybe they are folks from the outsides. Maybe you go back and forth and talk to the, the minor houses under your control. Um, maybe you work for one of these major house roles that we've kind of defined so far. Um, you know, maybe your job is to just hate Paula Deen just since no one else seems to be doing it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I feel like we're off on a, on a really good track here. Um, anyone else have any like house thoughts? Should we define anything else? Or are we feeling good? I'm oh, I just wanted to clarify... Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gordon Ramsay Spice. Yes. Warmaster? Uh, Warmaster yeah. feels, feels like it's yeah. fitting. I love for, that. For yeah. Ramsay Spice. I, I like it. You, I think you nailed it. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Great. And is he well, the Iron Chef Gordon Ramsay? Ramsay? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah. I, hmm. 
I think canon wise, I don't know that Gordon Ramsay's ever been an Iron Chef, Justin. I don't. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we want to keep it up. Rich, this is a <laughs> You're right. You're right. Dang it. <laughs> In 10,000 years or whatever, we should be fine. Yeah. Okay. He, he'll get there. Yeah. Iron Chef, Gordon Ramsay Spice, <laughs> Master of War. <laughs> I like it. All right. Um, okay. So that's the big first part of, of designing our characters, or excuse me, of designing the campaign, right? You kind of have a sense about who some of these villains are going to be. Like, even though we just came up with them, where, instead of House Harkonnen showing up to mess with you, it's going to be these other two. Um, maybe mm -hmm. House Harkonnen shows up, but this is the focus of our story, is, is what your house is doing and your interactions with these two major rivals and enemies. Um, Love which it. is fantastic. Get out of here, Harkonnen. You're gone. Out of our story. Um, Anytime we want to make more NPCs, we certainly can. That's that's we've got plenty of roles we haven't filled. But um, uh, what I want to do with a kind of a more of our what we, do, we have about half an hour left today um, is start talking about the character roles, how this is going to work a little bit um, as we start building our characters ourselves. We'll see how far we get into this today. Um, Oh, there we go. There's my list. Um, I love this game. I love this game because your characters, uh, the biggest focus, you know, D and D, you've got your main stats, whatever that you know, the six stats. In this game, there are five. Uh, they are your drives, and they are duty, faith, justice, power, and truth. Um, everything you do, one of those drives your actions and will be a major component in a, in the roles you make. Um, which I just love instead of like defining it in terms of like physical skills or anything. It's just these things. Um, we also have five skills in the game. Um, those skills are battle, communicate, discipline, move, and understand. And again, everything you do is a combination of those two things. <laughs> um, so as we're starting to build our characters, that's going to be a big focus is starting to describe and think about our characters in those terms, right? Do I want to make a, a character that's super duper strong? I mean, that's not really kind of how the stats are set up. Um, I could make someone who's good at battle as a skill because I've trained a lot, but super strong is not really one of the the, <laughs> the things in here. It could be a trait. It could be just something I define my character by, but it won't be one of our stats. Um, so if, if I may, it, it seems like it's, yeah. it's the system is built more around like think skills more than like inherent like some kind of abstracted inherent like this is my intelligence stat yes it'd be exactly. more like this is how good i am at communicating mm -hmm. okay and a lot of the game also like in a, a potential sci-fi setting that you might expect is about the kind of things that you know you can find it's about assets it's about uh it's about the traits that kind of drive you things like that as well i shouldn't use drive out of context uh, <laughs> the traits that define your character you know um there's a lot of things that this game just kind of says you can't do that. Um, kind of impossible. You know, if someone is running at you with a broadsword and your response to that is like, I'm going to punch him. And you're not like one of your traits is not puncher. <laughs> you're, it's yeah. You need to run or you need to find an asset. Those are your options. <laughs> so um, maybe you find your own sword around and get into it. Right. Um, but so there, there's a lot of bits of character that are really kind of cool and narrative, which I like a lot. Um, all the, the, the gameplay is going to be pretty straightforward, uh, but it's based on a lot of different options. So because it is so narrative, we want to start thinking about our characters, not in terms of stats or anything first, but just like who you are. Who are you in this world that we have just defined? Like what sounds like an interesting point of entry into the world <laughs> of the House of Posh? Um, <laughs> I get happy um, every time you say that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, in the book, uh, and for, for folks at home who may be winning a copy of the book, um, character creation is, there's a lot of steps to it. Um, we're going to try and make this as simple as possible here as we're doing it in a group, um, mostly by starting with our concept. Um, there are a couple core concepts that I think are pretty unique to, to Dune itself, um, beyond just being a person from the House of Posh. Uh, they're kind of defined in the lore. Um, they're pretty important for the general storyline. Um, we mentioned one of them at the very start. Uh, Teos, talk to me about the Fremen. Uh, <laughs> what do you, you want to know about them? Uh, what's, what's their deal? Who are they? If I were to play a Fremen, like what, would my, what am I all about? So, so lore-wise, in, in the yeah. first uh, novel, we, we meet them as sort of enigmatic people of the desert. And House Harkonnen, who previously was on Arrakis, has dismissed them as just sort of wild savages. There aren't that many of them. 
Uh, mm -hmm. There are a few of them. The, the desert is inhospitable, so who cares? Uh, but what folks slowly learn, and some know at the beginning, is that they're actually quite numerous. And they have a very strong code that links back to uh, the, the Ben Gesserit teachings. And so they have a whole mythos that uh, actually makes them formidable opponents. They also believe in and, and understand the cycle of life on Dune. So they mm -hmm. are integral to that. Right. So if you wanted to play like potentially a member of the Fremen, there's not a, many reasons why you would have transferred all the way from Dune to Spice World. Um, however, we could come up with some, right? I mean, that's a pretty specialized one, but maybe you are here to advise and like talk about the cycle of life somewhere else. You have some teachings you want to show. Um, maybe the House of Posh over here has learned some things that maybe the Fremen want to take back. So, you know, there could be a, a passing of knowledge there that would make sense. Um, there's a couple other ones that are important. Um, I mean, being a Fremen also gives you access to very Dune-specific things, like um, like still suits, the, the big suits that you wear that uh, turn your sweat back into water so you can drink it. Um, not just sweat. Like that. Not yeah. just sweat. <laughs> but we're, it's true. We can skate right over that. I don't want to. Oh, it's in our house. It's is all about that. Let's be honest, right? Like, <laughs> use the whole animal is 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 so. <laughs> Not okay the way that our house uses it, right? Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that steak? Very yeah, let's call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, let's see. We we talked a little bit about the uh, the the souk doctors. We talked about um, the men's hats a little bit with their their uh, kind of human computers. Uh, we haven't talked about the the Bene Gesserit at all. Um, I always forget if it's a hard G or a soft G. I go with a soft, but I think it's I'll... G. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, does anyone want to chat about the Bene Gesserit a little bit? I had a I had a quick question. Yeah, so of course. Like Mintats, Bene Gesserit. Let's just toss it. Souk doctors are the. Mm -hmm. uh, my sort of impression from the thing from just skimming through was that these are almost kind of like are these like more prestige classes? Like are these like too too much? Oh, for us so, if we are so. No, well, not at all. Okay. Um, what, what they do is they allow you kind of more of a focused character start, right? Um, if we want to play someone who's just a member of the House of Posh who has all these sorts of abilities, you're free to pick a ton of stuff. But, right, if you decide you want to be a Bene Gesserit, we kind of have some constraints you want to consider. Um, we have some talents you might want to pick from, stuff like that. So none of like you have to play. Things like that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, now, you can certainly play a character who's been mildly trained by one of these groups. Maybe you have some some of the the mastery of over medicine that the souk doctors have, but you didn't go through a imperial training or none of that nonsense. You spent like two years and you came back home. Um, so there are there's plenty of ways where you could be attached and have some of those things without fully being integrated into those schools and worlds. That's fine. <laughs> this is um, so cool. Uh, I love it. I love it. I'm, I said that too many times today, but I do love this. <laughs> um, Your enthusiasm a, is infectious. Why, thank you. <laughs> um, so there's information about those, but uh, I want to go through the basics of, of how the game works, and that's going to start, or characters work, um, and that's going to start on page 113 if you were looking at the book. Um, if you're not, it's a list of archetypes. Uh, this game tries to make it pretty easy for you to decide on what kind of a character you want to be. Um, and it's all a combination of these skills. Do you want to be good at like, I don't know, how about battle and discipline? Those are two skills that exist in the world. Um, then maybe you want to consider being, uh, oh, do, 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 what would that be? A warrior, right? Very specific. You are focused on battle. That's your thing. You are strong. You are dutiful. Um, discipline is what you're about. Um, do you want to take the skills in a different order? Maybe you want your primary to be, I want to be quick. I want to be a mover. Um, and I also want to know how to communicate. Um, maybe what I'm looking for there is the archetype called messenger, right? It's quick moving communicator. Um, so these five skills kind of define how you're going to focus. If you pick your archetype, it's going to give you some different ideas for like talents and stuff. Talents we're going to be doing, I think, a little off screen because they're a bit this is a little finicky. Um, but I want to do most of the rest of this kind of live out loud uh, over the next uh, today and, and, uh, and next week as we start choosing these things. Cool. So my plan is to kind of talk about them today, give you some food for thought, and dig in real big next time. Um, in order to kind of decide what archetype you want, we should probably start thinking about, like, what, what do you see yourself playing in this world? Is there a corner you'd like to occupy? Does anyone have any thoughts about where they want to be in the House of Posh? Uh, Anyone uh, like looking to be a, 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 a sorry, go ahead. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I just want to hang out with like the spices, like and just mm -hmm. wear like have a full face mask because otherwise I can't breathe around them because they're too intense. Sure. Um, but like I don't know what archetype is gardener. Oh, That's a great question. Person who hangs out with plants is that like an empath? I mean, it, it sounds a lot like understanding might be part of it, right? That is a, a big talk you've a lot learned of a whole lot. Yeah, empath is mm -hmm. not a bad idea, right? Um, okay. You know, maybe it is uh, is also something like what else? It could be scholar understanding and discipline is your deal. Like you're very focused on learning everything about these plants. Um, mm. uh, I mean, potentially, although it doesn't sound like it, it could be smuggler. You know, you're trying to gather <laughs> these and put them out on your own. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I, I like that. There's a lot of things. Like I just, um, I love plants a lot and I want everybody mm -hmm. else to have these spices right. in the purest form. In the purest form. Not like through all the processing that the house puts it through, but you know. <laughs> From the plant. Right. You just take a leaf and chew it. You're right. good. So that's good. That that possibly means you're you're on the outs a little bit with like the core of the house. So we all have to figure out how your character gets attached to the group. But that's like that kind yeah. of concept is a perfect starting point for your character. If you all right. Know. All right. Yeah. I'll go with that. I'll let everybody kind of build. Oh, that's what awesome. They can. I'll see if I can smoosh myself in. Yeah. I think What's I, anyone else thinking? Yeah. I think I might have something that might work with that in terms of like, if we if we want to kind of get a bad news bears rogues gallery, maybe <laughs> like a little squad on the exile is here. Is like I kind of, Rich, when you when you I read the first line of the email when you asked me to do that for if I wanted to hop on this, and I my first thought was. Oh man, I want to play a twisted mintat. Like I don't, I don't. That's all. Like that's all. It's it's yeah. a, it's it's a mintat. It's a human computer who doesn't have morals limiting them. And it's like <laughs> it's it's like. And I want my all. I have is I want to be. I'm trying to develop the the like like these more dangerous recipes. Like these are just like these are beyond. It's like the you know. I, I'm not limited. <laughs> by what the oh, no way, this is just like yeah this is this you is my version of a it. good contact yeah yeah it's like oh yes you make mm -hmm. the good stuff the bad stuff and i, I smuggle it out <laughs> yeah. i i have no good bad it is all the same for me i seek bold it says flavors. you friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this oh i love this because also these characters like while they're on the outs the house isn't going to destroy you. There's no way. They want you doing exactly what you're doing. <laughs> officially, officially on the outs, unofficially mm -hmm. necessary. Right, right. Guy, Guy Fieri Spice needs to know more spice recipes. So yeah, explore, mm. experiments. Oh, so good. <laughs> I think that's a fantastic starting point. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Anyone else thinking? Yeah, I, I would like to... Be, I do want to play a Benny Gesserit. Okay. And I think I want her to be a diplomat. And she probably is specifically like the tourism board trying to attract not just more tourism to the rack and to yeah. Spice World, but also non Yelp people. Like, ah, I see. You know, so like how to. <laughs> You know, not just mm -hmm. it's we're not just a blunt force against the Yelps and the Paul Deeds. We also are trying to cultivate some positive connections with yeah. reviewers and bloggers. <laughs> bloggers. And, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people that who send is, scrolls yeah. about the restaurants they like. Right. On the planet they like. Cool. So it sounds like you were not uh, not so much um, coming to look at the house and like observe them, but you are you are like part of house activities. You are a trusted member. Yeah. Um, okay. Fantastic. I like that a lot. Okay, so yeah, as a as a Bene Gesserit, you will have some some specific subset of of things that we'll have to talk about a little bit. We'll do that with our creation, but that that okay. concept is awesome. <laughs> okay. That's great. Oh my goodness. So Whew. I can see myself yeah. going for Sook Doctor type, but maybe woven around the idea of um, that it that it's more cooking based. You know, like I've got what's good for what ails you, but it's it's sort of food based. Mm medicine okay. or something but but then maybe with a minor of and i'll poison you if, if that's what should happen instead so i, I don't know what the mechanics are around so doctor i'm gonna have to look into that okay i like that yeah yeah absolutely so you wouldn't want to have gone all the way through training um yeah i don't want to take the oath some of not skills. hurting people right because you got some poisoning to do that's <laughs> yeah. um but i like it you are you are like crossing especially like this this divide we built into this house on purpose and you're just like i'm, I'm doing both um i like that a lot um 
Though, though I do think someone needs to be on the entertainment side for us. Fair know. enough. Could be. I mean, it could exist without us as well. So we could be there. We don't have to embody every bit of the house. But uh, yeah, absolutely. Whew. Justin, you've been listening to all this. Do you have any thoughts? Are you muted right first, now? <laughs> first, I need to realize that I muted my mic uh, because Welcome my back. dog was barking. And oh. I, I, I told you a million great things about my character. And you're just going to have to trust me. It's the best. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> um, no, I'm going to... I've, I've been just reading the Space Guild agent over and over, the Space and Guild mm -hmm. agent over and over again. And I think I want to do something with like um, travel and movement so that sure. we have something mm -hmm. mo with movement of product. I don't know if I'll be a specifically a spacing guild agent, but that's mm -hmm. kind of, I, I think that's kind of the format that I'm, I'm going to be going after. Gotcha. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm debating between like smuggler and strategist or tech, uh, tactician. So, so one of those yeah. things. Sure. Yeah, I think a, a spacing guild agent, especially for a major house, makes sense to have on staff someone who's been trained and can start doing all the transportation. I mean, the secrets of the Spacers Guild are definitely secrets. Um, but, uh, you know, you might have access to some intriguing information that way. I like it. Yeah. I like it. And, and I don't know how that plays in, like, if I was a spacing guild agent, if I was still, be could still be part of the house spice. Yep. Perfect. That's I think so. I, I think so. That's probably yeah. what I'll end up doing. Yeah. These are uh, these are uh, these. Excuse me. I was going to say extracurricular, but that's not it. Like these these very specific archetypes that you're picking from. These end up being traits for you. So one of your traits mm -hmm. is going to be spacing guild member, and you might be able to do things because hey, I'm a spacing guild member. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, and pretty much the game revolves around that idea. It's a. It also comes up in a in another game I like the the Numenera set the cipher system. Um, there's a lot of like sentences that you can say in here, and if you can say those and they make sense, like my character can. Uh, knows how to complete the, the the jump from this planetary system to that one because I have a spaceship and I'm a spacing guild agent. Well, then you yes. can do it, right? right? Awesome. And that's it. Um, I can <laughs> I can fight off that enemy because I have my my broadsword and uh, I'm a sword master, right? So I love it. Um, big deal, big deal with the game. All right, those concepts all sound fantastic. <laughs> Um, this is going to be a wild group, especially with this house background. I love it. We kind of have to take our, our wild eyes for the House of Posh and bring them a little bit down to mechanics for a bit. Um, but it is going to be fun. I'm excited. Um, Richard, am I gathering yes. that this is the sort of system where it doesn't super matter if we don't have a sword master in, in the party? Yeah, that should be OK. Um, it does mean there will be situations right in a skirmish, right, which is what we call like a small scale fight. Um, it, uh, it might be difficult. You know, you might struggle. You might have to find assets in the world around you, but it's probably you have a couple things, you know. Mm -hmm. Even if no one is a sword master, it's possible a few of you have knives, <laughs> you know, ready to go. Um, but yeah, probably duels won't be coming up in a group without a sword master. <laughs> or someone a... rather focused on battle, you know. What's the situation with, I saw that there was some NPC creation. Is, yes. it, is it a type of situation where we could just sort of have one like have a sword master like just mm -hmm. who doesn't you know not, not not spending as much time like developing their right. system, but like <laughs> that, to sort of fill that out it's it's definitely the the game has a lot of bits where you realize i don't have what i need in this circumstance i need to develop an asset um so you spend a little bit of your momentum momentum is a, a resource that is kind of allows you to do things when you want to do them which is very good. You also have determination, which is like the super powered version of that. Allows you to do some special things. Um, if you spend some of that and you're like, I want to find a sword right now, or uh, I'm going to call out to our sword master in the next room to come out here and like actually fight you. I'm not going to do it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, that's that stuff can all happen just fine. So um, anything to serve the narration of the story, I think, is kind of how those those systems work. I kind of like yeah. the limit of not having a sword person. Like, I feel like that's yeah. going to keep yeah. me from getting in, like, falling into D and D patterns of like mm -hmm. turning sure. towards combat. Like, maybe Murdering we're just everything. yeah, we're just too we're just too good at what right. we do. We like we we're not going to get in a situation where somebody has a sword. Like, I'm saying that like like calling calling <laughs> down the curse. Like, obviously, it's going to happen now. <laughs> obviously, if it you're will. unhappy obviously with will. what we did, we give you a coupon for your next purchase. 
mm-hmm. manager's and disc. And the coupon and that's it. plays and that's music. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's poison. Mm-hmm. So. Yes. <laughs> I just love you the idea that now you, you're dead. <laughs> you hand them food and a coupon and you turn and walk away and you're like, that's it. We did it. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah, and, and definitely, like, even with these, you you are going to have a primary skill of these five and a secondary. So folks that, that are still, like, battle is my secondary, you still have the option to be good at battle, even if it's not, you know, your main focus. Um, if all of you want to avoid fighting, that's awesome, too. We'll have a slightly different story. <laughs> we well, may I need some NPCs. Right. Yeah, I think sorry. my Benny Jes- my Benny, Benny Jesuit character is definitely going to be, like, a monk of some kind as well. Uh-huh. Like, she's going to have some martial arts skills too very cool okay they can for, for sure fight yeah yeah i can be uh-huh. if we ever need it i can be the puncher okay cool. got it got it <laughs> yeah so hopefully um as we've been talking you have been looking at the the archetypes right um the archetypes in this game not only tell you what your primary and secondary uh skills are going to be but they also have potential focuses that you might pick um a focus is very important if you are good at battle right um, you can succeed on a battle check, no problem. If you are focused on long blades or knives or something, I keep using battle just because it's first on the list. I'm not trying to suggest to you that you all go battle. Um, <laughs> um, being focused in something makes it so much easier to succeed at something. Um, basically, in the game, you're going to be rolling a d20, and you succeed uh, if you roll underneath your score, right? And we'll talk about how you generate mm-hmm. your scores tomorrow or next week, sorry. Um If you roll a natural one, it counts as two successes because it's a critical. Um, If you are focused in something, you crit on like way more than just a one. It's it's you could crit from like one to ten if you're really good at a specific skill and focused in it. So you're trying to generate kind of as many successes as you can in this game. That gives you kind of awesome outcomes. And so your focus is kind of mean. I'm very good at this. So those are listed in there. And so for those who are watching, just so we're not all looking in books (laughs) live on air, um, warrior, like for example, I'm in battle again. I got to skip to a different one. Um, Commander. There we go. Commander is is one of the socialite archetypes. They're good at communication. That's their primary. Um, Leading military forces of some kind. Um, Their primary skill, uh, like I said, is communication. Their secondary is battle. Um, They're going to focus on inspiration and leadership. Um, Inspiration as a communication ability um and then you know leadership in terms of battle right um i'm not good because i fight myself i'm good at battle because i tell other people to to go fight really well (laughs) um yeah yeah right right there's a lot of military stuff that we could be doing in this game as well like dealing with actual like war style i mean it gets big um the rules for fighting in duels is the same as fighting in espionage situations It's the same as assassination is the same i mean it's it's a really good system to generalize everything with I, that makes me really really like it um let's see um so we kind of have ideas for our characters you're starting to think about uh the archetypes um has anyone moved on to the archetype phase you got a set you got your plan <laughs> there are too many. Uh, that's okay. I think analyst. I like analyst. It seems to suit. Yeah, like a little. Like that's mm-hmm. sort of the. I'm 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 sort of going back and forth figuring out like what talents versus focuses yeah. versus oh, disciplines. Yeah. Don't so worry about that, those. That's, um, that's sort of the thing that's <laughs> jumping out at yeah. me. Focuses are are they uh, they specialize whatever your skills are. That's okay. what they do. So so a focus in strategy for communication is different than a focus in uh, persuasion and communication or, or something like that. Um, whatever archetype you choose as well, the name of it becomes one of your traits. If you choose spy, you're a spy. And that is a trait you can pull out anytime you want. <laughs> um, you just get to be good and do things because you're a spy. It represents so much training in a very, very simple word. Um, Talents are a bigger deal. They are a series of little abilities that do all sorts of stuff. And we'll take a look at those a little bit later on. There's like five pages full of them. They all do different things. I mean, it's it's basically like looking at feats in D&D. Um, mm-hmm. You have to mm-hmm. choose a couple of them. So there's going to be a bit of, of work there to, to kind of do. And we'll probably talk about that. Like I said, a little bit off screen. <laughs> um, 
Oh my gosh, we got a toast from Aubrey Cello uh, saying great show. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you, Aubrey. Goodness. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, I love House of Posh. I mean, this is fantastic. And while we're we're like digging into the reading of, of thinking about who our characters are going to be, I love that we have this like joyful umbrella that we all exist under at this point. And even as we get through like the the nuts and bolts of character creation, which we all know is nuts and bolts, like it's it's sticky. Um, it's a uh, it's going to be fun once we get that all sorted. So I'm very excited. Um, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, so next time, next time, what are we at? We're at. <laughs> I'm so used to running my D and D camps. I'm thinking about times and how much we have left for all the things. Um, so we are are going to be digging into next time, talking about drives and choosing our drives. That's going to be a big deal because um, it's so important. Maybe some of you care more about truth than others, and I'll tell you right now that uh, you might decide that truth is your most powerful, like your highest drive, because you want to lie all the time. Mm. Right. Ooh. You don't have to be truthful because your Into truth that. is high. Gotcha. You know, you can change that up. Um, right. So you, your justice can be high because you are a criminal. <laughs> you want to know all the ways to avoid uh, the law. So mm. there's a, there's some very cool ways these drives are going to work out. And, uh, and we're also going to talk a lot about how how that builds the I mean, in D&D &D terms, the DCs for the game that we're trying to hit with our die rolls. Right. Um, which I'm, I'm very excited about. I mean, it's just, it's so cool to generate your actions because it's going to be a, an asset. It's going to be a skill. It's going to be a drive. I'm doing this because I am so passionate about lying <laughs> and I'm very good at strategy. That's my communication focus. And so I am going to create a faint maneuver that's going to send their troops in the wrong direction. Um, and that's, that's kind of like the, the simple ideas about the dune system. And then we roll dice from there, which is pretty rad. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, as we kind of start wrapping up this whole thing, uh, any final thoughts on, on characters? Any, any things you want to say out loud? Any promises you want to make before we get back well, next week? <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, and it's it. totally cool if, if there's no answer yet, because maybe, maybe we can hit the books and then next week we'll figure it out. Okay. My question is, because my Benny Gesserit sister, I want to build her as, like I said, a diplomat, someone who's like uh -huh. forward facing with the public and with other factions or other planets and planetary forces, but yeah. I also do want her to have fight skills. Mm -hmm. So is there, in this character creation process, I see that we choose the, act, the uh, archetype that gives you like your skill and your focuses and talents, but then are there, is there a place where we can then like bump up the battle or things like that? Yep. Okay, yes. great. So afterwards, right, even if your battle is not your primary or your secondary, they're all going to start at certain numbers. You get a couple of points to spread them out, and there's no limit to how you do it. So if you awesome. decide, no, I wanted battle to be highest, uh, mm -hmm. you can still do that. Great. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So That'll be the same I with was, our drives as well. I mm -hmm. was wondering whether B, whether you would be interested in having your character be a Fremen, which could be interesting. So somebody had mentioned in chat that and as, a, as an idea and like the Fremen version of what we have on our planets, I think that would be really, really yeah. heckin' cool. And I've been just sitting here daydreaming and trying to visualize <laughs> what that would be. A lot of mm -hmm. green, a lot of but like the like dark, healthy colors. Mm -hmm. um you know the masks like I'd probably be breathing in spices all the time. therefore like I, when I maybe try to murder people with these spices as my means of survival, um, I can take my mask off and be okay and they'll die. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been really, really contemplating the options um, and I, I like it. Yeah, Ooh, cool. very cool. Oh, I, that's I, fantastic. I like having our own Fremen on our planet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and the story of really why you're brought to such a different world could be cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You all have me so excited to like get together and continue playing tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Uh, this is a daily show, is that right? A daily show for the next uh the next forever. Um, <laughs> um Oh my goodness. But uh, but let's, with our, our last 10 minutes, um, you've got plenty to think about. We're going to come back to get uh, next week and start building these characters out, statting them out, figuring out who they are, and beginning to see kind of how the system works. That's all going to be next time. Um, but world building has been a ton of fun. I think the House of Posh might be my favorite Yay! Dune house now of all time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's, proud of this house. it's definitely yeah. in, the, in the top four. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I mean, for sure. <laughs> no, I love Perfect. it. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Well, I, I certainly want to end by by talking about my fantastic cast and allowing you to, you know, tell everybody else where they can search you out online, where they're going to find out more about your Dune thoughts over the next week, because this is all I'm going to be thinking about for a week. Uh, <laughs> um, 
And oh uh, gosh, I didn't think about an order, so I'm just gonna change it all up. Reverse alphabetical Teos. <laughs> Powerhouse, where can we find you? <laughs> uh, you can find me at alphastream.org where I blog regularly. Uh, this week I'll be teaching you how to buy the right Magic the Gathering cards for the D&D set, even if you know nothing about Magic the Gathering, because I had to ask smart people to tell me how to do it <laughs> um, so I could spend the monies. Uh, you can also find me on the Twitters at alphastream. So it's all alph alphastream all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, no great news to report. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. I mean, we can also find you uh, talking quite a bit, right, on a weekly basis. There is the Speaking Mastering words. Dungeons <laughs> podcast weekly. Uh, Twitter at Mastering D&D. From there, you can find it, and it's on the Misdirected Mark Network. Thank you, Rich. Of course, of course. Uh, all right. Uh, Justin, uh, I mean, I get to talk to you all the time, but where can yeah. folks talk to you? <laughs> uh, well, um, so you can find me uh, every, oh, nearly every Sunday right here on the Saving Throw channel at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time with the Owl Bear Shoops so, show. That's hard to say. Uh, along with Rich. And then also uh, I do my own streaming. Uh, and you can follow me and find me everywhere with DJ Pirate Rabbits. No spaces. That's my DJ name. That's my Twitter name, Instagram. Follow me there. You'll, you'll see me. Uh, and I stream at least twice a week. Uh, right here on Twitch on my channel. Uh, that's going to be on Wednesdays at 5.30 and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific. So, yeah, that's me. That's what I do. Perfect. Well, I'll see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Familial relation. All right. <laughs> Cohen, uh, hey. where can folks find you on the internet? <laughs> well, they can find me at twitch.tv slash gameworms. I'm going to drop a link in the chat right now if that's acceptable. Uh, oh. I play uh, Coffee with Cohen. We do it at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Atlantic, maybe a little early for the L.A. crew. Uh, but for a couple hours, Monday through Friday, it's all five days. Uh, right now, we're rolling up on the end of Death Stranding. I've uh, been playing it for... 14 weeks, however long that is. Oh uh, a few hours a day, oh it's, it's, a, it's a hoot. Uh, also, <laughs> in the afternoon, uh, uh, noon Eastern, uh, 1, 1 p.m. Atlantic. God, where do I live? Uh, we do that uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, playing through Twilight Princess right now. Uh, me and Casey, uh, Casey Green, who's the other half of the Game Worms Enterprise. Uh, that's the main thing. Also, you can follow me at Twitter, uh, at Skull Mandible, where you will mostly see me uh, tweeting that I tweeting out live announcements that I have just started playing yes, on Game yes, Wars. So that's that's <laughs> more of the place to see it. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you. Um, B, where can we find? I mean, all over the place, but where can we find you? <laughs> yes, hello. It is I, your busy non-binary B. You can find me on Twitter is at B underscore Zelda. I am a podcaster. I am a member of the Broadswords, which is a 5e D and D actual play podcast. I am also the host of Anime Attaché, where I talk to two of my friends who've never actually watched anime. And we're going through season one of My Hero Academia, <gasps> as well as, oh, it's so yes. good. They are in love. They are in love yeah. now. And, like, the fact that they've lived their lives without this has been baffling. So, like, everything is just so much oh. more enriched. That I can't even <laughs> express my joy. We're almost done, too. It's It's been really good. Oh, when you, when you um, said they are in love, I thought you meant Deku and Bakugo. And I was just, like, nodding my head. Like, <laughs> I do yes. not. Bakugo is so them. angry. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll talk oh, in a few no. months. We'll talk in a few seasons. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but first season, yeah, no, first season. It's, 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 it's toxic. Yeah, it's, it's toxic. very toxic. Yeah. It's so toxic. It's so bad. My goodness. Um, yeah. <laughs> as well as I'm a regular streamer, uh, I run Tabletop Otaku, where I interview game designers and talk about their relationships with anime and what shows inspired them. And every Sunday, I stream on Q Times, where we play some power play. And I seem to have a thing for plants because my whole character is just based on my love of plants. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> That is fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Um, and last but definitely not least, Aliza, where can we find you? Um, uh, a lot of places. I actually uh -huh. had to write them down because I always forget um, when people ask me this. So um, um, you can actually follow me on Twitch. I'm Apizaliza. I don't 
uh, stream very often, but I'm going to start to do so more because now I have built my PC. Yay! Um, and then I also stream over at Ripley Improv, where I co-create and direct and produce and do improv with my lady friends. Um, we just did a show called Slay that I directed and, and produced, and you can watch that on our YouTube channel. So find Ripley Improv on the internet and you'll find my shows. Um, so for TTRPGs on Saturdays at 12.30 p.m., I run a D&D 5e campaign called Lords of Faerun, and that's at twitch.tv slash kira858. And that is very fun. Uh, we started on an <laughs> island uh, in the, the Sea of Fallen Stars, and it's I just brought all this Puerto Ricanness into it. it. It became a real, like, island thing. It was very fun. Um, I also run... A, uh, a monthly Star Trek Adventures, which is another 2D20 system from Modifius. Um, we do a Klingon campaign last Mondays of the month called Blood of the Void. And so our next game will be, I guess, July, whatever the last Monday in July is. I'm not sure what, what date that is. But yeah. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. going to be that day. Uh, and so. Um, and then, yeah, and then the other thing I'm doing this Saturday is at 5 p.m. I'm going to be guesting on the Gax Pack, which is um, on the GaxCon Live channel. It's a D&D &D 5e campaign, and it's run by Jason Charles, Charles Miller, and I'm playing an Air Genasi Celestial Warlock. And <laughs> if you know how much I love space, then this is basically Aliza as a D&D character. <laughs> that sounds amazing yeah awesome wow 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 that is all exciting i gosh so much good things uh, i'm so excited to hear about all your stories before we get back together next week for our next episode uh we're gonna be going for the next four weeks uh, again another character creation bit next time get those characters nailed down and then we are going to be moving forward with our adventure soon after that um rich do you i should tell you might, do yeah i think we might be able to roll into some 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 play next time i don't want to put you on the spot what do you think i just want to just oh okay i am very hopeful we, we started moving into our characters pretty quick i mean you all sound like you've got your concepts down so we're going to start uh developing those almost immediately i'm i think we're going to be playing next time absolutely so bring your d20 yes. okay. uh, two of them at least <laughs> um Let's see. I should probably mention that. Yeah, you can. My name is Rich. You can find me on Twitter at rmolina or on Owlbear Soup on Sundays right here on Saving Throw. Um, I mostly talk to kids these days with the Academy of Adventures, playing D and D and teaching them how to how to play and how to DM as a summer camp and after school program, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> um, uh, coming up on Saving Throw tomorrow, I, I do want to mention that there is going to be a new episode of All Games No Masters tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific. They're going to be playing Goblin Quest. Uh, I playing gm list games is amazing it's so good uh check that stream out absolutely um we have two things to do before we go and number one um we of course have this giveaway that we have been doing or talking about um at least we talked about it at the start and then played dune too long um so i hope you have been entering the raffle uh following the show for your chance to win a copy of the dune rpg um let's see um, checking in with Dom to double check our directors that happening in the chat right now. Are we doing the raffle? Is it live? The bot says we can no longer win. And okay. oh, we got Jumbo some Lump announcements crack. in chat. Uh, yeah. Jumbo lump crab meat. That's Ooh, my nice. boy. <laughs> Congratulations. That's my boy. 54. What's going on, man? <laughs> wow inhale lettuce thank you so much <laughs> wow congratulations all three the book is fantastic and uh inhale lettuce jumbo lump crap meat uh and 54 aqua snakes oh my goodness um Can check I the book that out those should good. be meals that we provide <gasps> oh yeah jumbo lump oh crab my meat. goodness can you write it down please yes, Chris, write it. thank you write it. <laughs> yes I'm, I'm copying and pasting that I'm putting it in my notes <laughs> genius um perfect well in that case um let's see this i do want to mention perfect. that of course uh these your are the dishes that we are most known for and they're disgusting are they and we love them mm -hmm. okay. oh we love them mm -hmm. they they do rely heavily on the spices <laughs> yes so okay much like it's gritty you know yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my, my goodness. It's zesty. It's zesty. Zesty. 
It's well, zesty. <laughs> it is zesty. Oh, I forgot that's our keyword for this whole oh, time. Rich, you are on mute. Oh no, have oh. I turned on mute? I can. Oh, I can individually mute people. Oh, huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the power. I had no idea. Um, <laughs> This is fantastic. Too much power. Thank you, the three of you, for following and for uh, for joining in the raffle. Uh, congratulations. Read the book. Maybe, I don't know, skew a little bit away from the adventure in the book. Uh, we might be taking a look at a little bit of that during our time together. Um, but get into characters. Look at some of the, uh, the cool, oh my gosh, the archetypes in there. Follow along with us as we're building our characters next time. Um, and yes, these characters and this house are certainly going to get some big surprises, I think, next week as we begin play. Um, possibly some notes from head of house, <laughs> head chef Guy Fieri Spice. Uh, maybe we'll be finding something from our spy master, the master of ceremonies over there. Um, we'll see what happens next time. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us and for watching. Um, we'll see you uh, back here at 5.30 p.m. next Tuesday for, uh, for our second episode of this Learn to Play game. Uh, have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone.